Welcome back to all of the students of our Lord and Savior, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua the Christ. We are excited, and I got something so exciting to reveal to you guys. Tonight's teaching, if you thought the Kobe Bryant series was mind-blowing, mind-wrecking, whatever you want to call it, um, this new series entitled Jamie Foxx, A Luciferian Project Completed. And I believe what I'm going to do, Pastor Jody Bird, is to start uh, a series of books as well uh, from not just Kobe Bryant, A Luciferian Project Completed, that we've been working on since the spring of 2020, but also Jamie Foxx, A Luciferian Project Completed. And, uh, and Sam Cooke and others uh, that have either been injured or have died. And the Lord has revealed into my spirit something called the Mandela effect. My Lord, I, let me tell you something. The Lord spoke to me concerning the Mandela effect and that it is a paradigm that is affecting, infecting uh, not just Black America, but the Black diaspora. The Mandela effect, okay? And so I need you to go into the word of the Lord and... Uh, I want you to go into two passages of scripture. Um, St. Paul's apostolic letter to the Ephesians. Uh, matter of fact, we're going to say Ephesians 6 and 12 as the key verse. Thank you, Lord. I want us to go first into St. Paul's second letter. Uh, to the Apostolic Church at Thessalonica. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Second Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, verses 7 to 12. Second Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, verses 7 to 12. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to matriculate going back to St. Paul's letter to the Apostolic Church at Ephesus, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Um, I said good evening to all of the students. Please forgive me for being late. And also please forgive me for having to reschedule uh, these classes, I've been so busy uh, with secular work um, as my publicist is sending me out to places. But I'm telling you, patience is the key. And I need your prayers tonight because what you think is the truth concerning what's going on is nothing but a lie. Okay. I, and we will save the shout outs for later on. It is so great to see all of you, all of the students of, of the Christ, all of you, uh, Pastor Mark Williams, Pastor Colleen, uh, Pastor Tara, my daughter, Pastor Colleen, my daughter, Pastor Mark Williams, my son, all you guys, Pastor Sam, my son, Pastor Jody Bird, my son, uh, Pastor Ellis Ewing. So we're going to save the shout outs. Uh, near the end of tonight's teaching. Did you miss the bishop? I said, did you miss the bishop? Great to see you. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, Apostle Ty Kemp and Apostle Carlotta Kemp, great to see you, okay? From the Pillars and Strategies. God bless you, man of God. I'm coming to Tennessee. You have my word on that. Uh, all of you guys, Pastor Stone, great to see you. Uh, in Yeshua's holy name. Big Rob, missed you, man of God. Pastor Big Rob X, God bless you. Pastor Rick Remington, my son in Christ. Great to see you, Pastor Rick. Love you, sir. All of you guys, pastors, uh, apostles to witness ministries. Great to see you. Uh, 
God's gift. Great to see you, Pastor Bonita McWilliams, Pastor Wally. So we'll save the shout outs near the end of tonight's teaching. Pastor Carmen, great to see you tonight in Yeshua's Holy Name. Pastor Ellis Ewing from Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group Detroit. Great to see you, man of God. All you guys, great to see you. Pastor April. All right, Pastor uh, Emma Noel, my daughter in Christ out of uh, the great nation of Canada. Um, Pastor Sam, Pastor Xavier Diaz, great to see you. All right, uh, I need you to have three things. Number one, have the greatest weapon in history, the physical gospel that Christ taught, the King James Version. If you don't have the physical King James Version, then it is imperative for you to have the electronic version, okay? Um, and right beside Pastor Colney's name, right beside Pastor Tira's name, click on, take this and click on uh, the King James link. It is imperative that you follow along. Pastor Stone, great to see you. Oh, Mary Ann, all the way from Minnesota, great to see you. Love you too, Prophet O'Brien, love you. Love you, love you, love you in Christ's holy name. Prophet O'Brien, there's a heavy anointing on you tonight, man of God. Pastor James Evan, Evans, there's a heavy anointing on you tonight, man of God. Uh, 11, great to see you. Um, I'm telling you, God is in the building here tonight. Uh, Pastor Disciple Dean, great to see you. Great man of God. Pastor Fred, all the way from St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, my God. We got students throughout, not just the state of Missouri, but also in uh, both St. Louis and Kansas City. God bless you. And they've been almost begging me to come down there. I'm going to get down there in Yeshua's holy name. All the way from Palmana, Florida, nutmeg. God bless you <laughs> in Yeshua's holy name. God bless you. Uh, Merlis, Pastor Merlis Jones, okay? We'll get to the other, uh, all of you guys near the end of tonight's teaching. Um, have the physical word of God. If you don't have the physical King James Version, at least have the, the electronic version. If the moderators can put up the electronic version link, because it is imperative for you to follow along, okay? Um, Pastor Colleen, everyone, thank you, Pastor Noel. Emma no, uh, right beside Pastor Emma No's name, click on that link. Or right beside Pastor Tierra's name, click on that link. Great to see you, Pastor Montoya. And click on that link. It is imperative that you follow along. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have two to three pins. And number three, make sure you have a large notebook. I know that you guys had a wonderful weekend. Let's get into uh, our global masterclass tonight for module one. Volume one of Jamie Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Jamie Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Great to see you, Pastor Craig Moore, my son. California is in the house, indeed. Uh, Pastor Grace and uh, Gibbons, God bless you. Miss you too, in Christ's holy name. And Pastor David, we love you, Pastor David Yakin, one of my uh, security details here in Los Angeles. God bless you, Pastor David and Pastor Rosa. All right. Um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 to 12. And the key verse tonight will come out of Ephesians uh, chapter 6, verse 12. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 to 12. Ephesians 6 and 12. Let's start with 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. Hear ye the word of the Lord. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy 
with the brightness of his anointing, his Christology, his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan or Satan with all power in signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Examine verse number 11. And for this cause, God shall send them or God will allow strong delusion that they should believe a lie. God will allow them to see strong delusion or deception that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Notice these two words in verse 11, strong delusion, strong delusion. Now, Ephesians 6 and 12, which is the key verse tonight, from whence we shall receive the subject this evening. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood or against the paradigm of our fallen state, but against principalities, against powers. Notice this, what Paul says, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And since there are rulers of the darkness of this world, there are also rulers of the darkness of other worlds against spiritual wickedness in high places, O high bohemian. This earth that we live on is not the only earth. So we're going to break that down later during tonight's teaching. All right, go back to the body of the text. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 and 12. Let's lay apostolic foundation concerning Jamie Foxx and Luciferian Project Completely. You better get someone on the line here tonight. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian Project Completed. Heavenly Father, send forth thy truth, for thy word is truth. 2 Thessalonians 2 in 7. We are experiencing a present day Truman Show through the deception of reality, the deception of time, and the deception of probability. There are three main manifestations who are the triplets of hell. That is called the deception called reality. The deception called time. And the deception called probability. The Greek term Esokinesius, capital E double S O K I N E S I S, meaning the manipulation called reality. S 
Isokinesis is a demonic force that is assigned by hell to manipulate reality to become reality. The manipulation called time from whence we get the term chronokinesis. Capital C-H-R-O-N-O, kinesis. Meaning the ability to manipulate the flow of an illusion called time. Then the deception called probability and this probability is called Tychokinesis, capital T-Y-C-H-O, Kinesis. It is a demon that's designed by hell to manipulate the ability to flow psychologically. When one says good luck or bad luck, they have automatically cursed themselves. No apostolic should say good luck or bad luck because the term luck is the nickname of Lucifer. So I can expose that because we've already prayed over us. I've already prayed over you. So the triplets of the nature of Satan is the deception called reality. The, re the deception called time and the deception called probability. Let's examine reality. Reality is the fallen state of what we call ality. Capital A L I A L I T Y. What is ality, Bishop? Ality is origination before origination. God came from nowhere. I had a theologian ask me over the, the weekend. Uh, we went out to dinner, me, him, and his wife, and good friends of mine. And they said, Bishop, where did God come from? God came from nowhere. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God did not begin when the beginning began. God began the beginning. God did not start when the start got started. God started the start. Before anything was God. Before there was a time, God. Before there was an eternity, God. Before there was a eternity, God. Before there was the paradigm of externity is God. People said God was out there. What where? God was around the corner. What corner? God was above. What above? God was below. What below? God created that which is above, that which is below, that which is around the corner, and that which is around the opposite corner. Where did God sit? God did not need to seat himself on a chair because God is the throne. Now think about that. 
Every time I think about that, Pastor Sam, I end up getting a headache because of the magnificence of the presence of God. So in the beginning, God, that destroys the concept of reality. Reality is called a simulation. A simulation, not the paradigm of the earth, but the paradigm of the world. It did not say in the beginning, God created the heaven in the world. It said in Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The world does not come into existence until both the fall of Lucifer between verses 1 and 2 in Genesis 1 and the eventual fall of Adam in Genesis 3 and 6. So reality and time of both illusions. Bishop, give me an example of both reality and time or both illusions. The first three letters of the term illusion is the acronym meaning that which is sick. Ill, illness, sickness. So God did not create reality. Listen, I got your attention now. God did not create reality. Reality is the illusion of the disease from the world. The world was not created by God. The earth was. This is radical. Again, the word of the Lord did not say that in the beginning, God created the heaven in the world. The earth originally was the cosmos, the K, the heavens. And the heavens was the cosmos, the C, the earth. At the fall of Lucifer, between verses 1 and 2, of Genesis 1, we call this the gap theory. Then time began to be conceived. Time is what we call an illusion. God did not create reality. Reality is called the matrix. And within the matrix, is a 12 month calendar that represents the names of demons. Janus, January to December, December. So the 12 month calendar that you call the Gregorian calendar did not come from God. It came from the fallen angels in Genesis 6, Enoch 6, Jude 6, 666, six, six, and these demons are called the Gregories. Capital G R I G O R I apostrophe S. The Gregories gave Pope Gregory the innate demonic luciferic knowledge that is the offspring of the Julian calendar to create a reality of an illusion called time. Time represents a sickness, an anomaly within creation. 
So always remember this. God did not create reality, but God created ality. And ality is the presence of God. So you have ality versus reality. Ality is God's presence before origination, where you and I were already created by God before the foundation of the earth and even before the foundation of the world. So ality means that you are older than time. You are older than the heavens. You are older than every universe in the heavens, and you are older than the angelic government, and you're older than Lucifer and the fallen angelic government of hell. How do you know that, Bishop? This is not older, but who before beginning, before the end, before God created the heavens and the earth, before there was a there, where, above, below, and everywhere. You were already a created entity in the mind of God before became before. Let me say this again. You are older than your enemy called Lucifer. So that is what we call uh, esokinesis, the manipulation of ality to become reality. Reality does not begin until Genesis 1 and 3 after Lucifer's fall. And reality does not begin, nor does it begin to take shape until Genesis 3 and 6 after Adam's fall. So in the apost can I take my time tonight? Listen. In the apostolic, reality does not exist. And in the apostolic, time does not exist. Now, what is the difference, Bishop, between the timeology of the earth, the world, versus the eternity of God. You see, eternity is time without a beginning, and time is eternity with a beginning. Let me say this again. Eternity is time without a beginning, Time is eternity with a beginning. So that represents the reality of reality, the deception of reality, esokinesis. And the 12-month calendar is not of God. How do you know this is 2023? Because we're going by a 12-month Luciferic time frame called reality. And within the 12-month span are called fallen seasons. Do you remember uh, Pastor Jody Bird and Apostle Kemp some weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, that... There's a great distinction, I taught this, between time and seasons. When Solomon refers 
in, Ecclesi in Ecclesiastics to seasons. He's not referring to spring, summer, fall, and winter. But Solomon is referring to seasons as a, an event where God chooses to act. See, a lot of you, it's your time. It's not your season. So when your season comes, not spring, summer, fall, and winter, but when your season comes, it means God has decided to act through apostolic uh, intellectualism, through the intelligence of God, that season when God decides to act. So that is exposing the deception of reality or esokinesis. Then you have the deception, of course, of time. T-I, tie me. Man is tied to an attachment of the fallen state that came from Adam. Time is a simulation that where demons can only operate in the paradigm of time. Demons can only operate within the paradigm of time. And the deception called probability. Now the term of probability, it simply means the randomness of events within the simulation called the world. Now, the simulation is not on the earth. The simulation is the world. So a probability represents the prediction of the predication of the pre-dedication of certain events not yet done. Probability is being deceived and manipulated by demons. That is called tychokinesis. Man, I feel an anointing. So notice the term etc. E-C-T, etc. E, esokinesis, reality. And then you have chronokinesis, time, and tychokinesis, probability. So anytime when you said in your past, etc., that unleashed a curse. You didn't know that, and I didn't know that because we were destroyed for the lack of knowledge, etc. So the term etc. means for the individual to be in alignment with the deceptions of reality, time, and probability. Reality esokinesis e time chronokinesis. C, probability, tychokinesis, T, etc., is a demonic code meaning multiple curses or the randomness of curses. Now, I'm going to give you some time to pick up your jaws from the floor. And I got to tell you, no one is teaching this. Let's continue the lay apostolic historical foundation of Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Through the triplets of the deception of reality, time and probability, 
You've been taught that this is 2023. Now, according to reality, it's 2024. When you count the year 2000 as year one. You see, a lot of you have been taught to count the first year of the 21st century as 2001. That's incorrect. The first year of this fallen state called reality, the first year in the 21st century, is the year 2000. When you uh, mathematically count the year 2000 as year one to 2023, we are actually living in 2024. Let's continue the late foundation. How many of you have heard of the term chaos theory? Pastor Ty Kim, can I take my time? Chaos theory, control theory, and the butterfly theory. Chaos theory is a global process wherein a tiny reactionary moment is applied to a chaotic system in order to bring about a desirable particular pattern of behavior. I, I got to teach this again. Listen, chaos theory is a global process when a reactionary element called the perturbation, what is perturbation? P-E-R-T-U-R-B-A-T-I-O-N. It is a reactionary moment that chaos can only work if the individual has unresolved pain and trauma. Chaos did not affect the Christ. Was he wounded for our transgressions? Yes. Was he bruised for our iniquities? Yes. But he never allowed his wounds to become infected. So chaos theory is a global process wherein a reactionary element called the perturbation, the perturbation, perturbation is applied to a chaotic event in order to bring about a desirable outcome of a particular behavior. A desirable outcome of a particular behavior. Chaos theory, through the theory of control, is also a international process wherein a reactionary element because of unresolved pain and trauma is applied through deception to bring about a desirable particular behavior. When black children go out and kill white children, that's chaos theory. Who is behind it? Demons. When white children go to kill Asian children or black children, that's chaos theory through the theory of control in order to bring about a desirable 
outcome of a particular behavior. Chaos theory, the theory of control, the butterfly effect. Through an apostolic outline, Christ came 2,000 years ago to bring an apostolic chaos theory. Christ, the order as the light, came to bring disorder within the order of darkness so that the order of darkness can become disordered by the light of the apostolic. Chaos theory, Christ came to bring the apostolic order of light that would bring disorder to the order, order of darkness. Wait a minute, Bishop, you're saying that darkness has an order? Yes. The reason why the church is unsuccessful, it's because we have a generational uh, paradigm of leaders who don't know their assignment. They're in the wrong lane. Though they are anointed, they're in the wrong lane, in the wrong office. And because you're in the wrong lane, in the wrong office with, with the right gifting, you cannot disorder darkness because you're in the wrong office. You see, when you're operating out of apostolic order, the order of darkness will continue. So apostolic, Oh man, I feel an anointing. Chaos theory and the apostolic control theory. Christ comes to bring disorder to counterfeit light called illumination. Illuminato. Illuminati. The illumination of Christ's true light, the apostolic brought disorder to the counterfeit light called Illuminati. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the chaos theory and the paradigm of control theory is a complex motion of a massive body that has become subjugated to forces outside of your apostolic order. And those forces outside of your apostolic order, when the individual is out of order in Christ, the outside gravitational pull of the deep state forces you to react because of your trauma of being out of order that then will give birth to a particular behavior. That is chaos theory through the theory of control. The control of a particular chaos becomes the stabilization of the world's thinking. Wait a minute now. Anything that Christ has as apostolic stability, Satan has a counterfeit of dark, illuminated stability. So there is a battle between not just two kingdoms and two seeds, but also a battle between the apostolic stabilization of the church versus the counterfeit apostolic of the deep state, the destabilization or the stabilization of thinking in the world. 
you got to understand that whatever God has in truth, Satan has a counterfeit. Avoiding the significant modification of the global systems is real-time thinking. That is global manipulation. In order to bring about chaos that keeps the social order intact so that the masses will walk as constituents or house pets. I'm getting to Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. There is a term called the Pygos method, capital P-Y-R-G-A-S, the Pygos method. It is a Greek term meaning the the synchronization of chaos. Wait a minute now. What is the synchronized system of global chaos? Where two or more events happen simultaneously. Tucker Carson gets fired five minutes, uh, five minutes later. Don Sweet T. Lemon gets fired. Kobe Bryant eliminated. Nation shut down, world shut down. The introduction of the snake juice that brings about blood clots. And I'm going to say something that is radical. A doctor friend of mine who is also a part of our ministry, uh, a Ghanaian doctor who lives in New York City, he sent the bishops um, some information from the Harvard School of Medicine and from the New England Journal of Medicine that there are three different types of blood clots that are the direct result of the snake juice. And the Holy Spirit said, don't get ahead of him. I'll come back to that. So the global measure of preserving, preserving the global system of manipulation. You got to write this down. In 1918, a Kazarian doctor by the name of Dr. Felix Hausdorf or Hausdorf, capital H-A-U-S-D, O-R-double-F. Felix Hausdorff, a German physician and a German neuroscientist, created the design of the Hausdorff dimension. What is the Hausdorff dimension, Bishop? It is the creation of a six-pointed hexagram, hexagon sign that the deep state calls the Star of David. King David of 1st and 2nd Samuel has nothing to do with the six-pointed hexagram, hexagon sign of David. Felix Hausdorff, Hausdorff, Capital H A U S D O R double F was a physician, a neuroscientist who believed in global manipulation through symbols. The Star of David did not come from King David. It came from an Iraqian who called himself the Messiah, but he was a false Messiah, by the name of David Alroy, capital A-L-R-O-Y. This is part of the Mandela effect. David Alroy was not a Hebrew. He was not a Jew. 
He was not even Kazarian. He was born in Baghdad, Iraq. He was a Persian Iraqian who had designed what would become later the Hausdorff dimension of a six-pointed hexagram, hexagon symbol that would bring about the Hausdorff dimension of global deception that we call the Mandela effect. Oh, Lord, it's getting deeper here. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Now, the Mandela effect was brought about by a CIA uh, officer who was also a working within the apartheid government of South Africa. Her name was Dr. Fiona Broom, F-I-O-N-A, Brume, B-R-O-O-M-E. She was a double agent both for the CIA and for the apartheid government of South Africa. And she was also a warlock whose specialty was in the paranormal. Dr. Brume had designed the term Mandela Effect after the teaching of Dr. Felix Hausdorff, going back to 1918, of the Hausdorff Dimension, H-A-U-S-D-O-R-F-F. -F. The Mandela Effect, she said, is simply a collective false memory, when she disclosed, I want you to hear me, she, Dr. Fiona Brume, disclosed that Nelson Mandela had actually died in prison in 1980. Now, listen, I'm not saying this. She said this. She was not only an expert in the paranormal, but she was contracted by both the CIA and also by the apartheid government of South Africa. She said through the Mandela effect that through collective false memory, she had exposed to the parliament of South Africa concerning a significant number of people at this conference, okay? Um, this was back in 2010, that Nelson Mandela actually died in Poorsmore Prison in 1980, and that the Mandela who let the prison, okay, the prison system of... Oh, Lord, have mercy, of the South African prison industrial complex in 1990 was simply a clone. I'm not saying that. She said it. So don't go on social media telling everyone Bishop said that Mandela was a clone. She said that pre-1960 Mandela, before Mandela went to prison in 1962, he was an asset of the KGB. There's an anointing. He was an asset of the KGB, Soviet intelligence, prior to 1962. Post-1962, when the CIA through a man by the name of Dr. Paul Echo, capital E-C-K-E-L, who works with Dr. Fiona Brume, also of the CIA, had said that post-1962 and forward, Mandela became an asset 
of the CIA. Let me say this again. I, I'm, this is called the Mandela effect. I'm not saying it. I'm telling you what the CIA is saying. Prior to the arrest of Nelson Mandela, who's a 33rd and one half degree, uh, not just Prince Hall Mason, but a 33rd and one half degree, uh, knights, he's a knight of Malta, and very few blacks reached that level of 33 and a half degrees. Mandela was an asset of Soviet intelligence prior to his arrest in 1962. After his arrest in 62, going forward, he was an asset of the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency. I'm not saying it. Both the Soviet intelligence apparatus, the KGB, and the apparatus of U.S. intelligence, the CIA, said this, that according to Dr. Paul Echo, he was the one that betrayed Nelson Mandela by giving the South African apartheid government intel where Mandela was hiding. Someone within the ANC, the African National Congress, sold out Nelson Mandela because the ANC was infected both with CIA assets and Soviet KGB assets. And the ANC today are nothing but black communists. Another topic for another day. I'm just laying foundation before we get to the text of 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7 concerning Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. To understand what happened to Jamie Foxx, we have to go back into history to expose what was happening, what happened to black consciousness movements in order to understand what's going on now. Dr. Paul Echo, E-C-K-E-L, along with Dr. Fioni Brumi had said that the man that was let out of prison in 1990 is not the Nelson Mandela who died in 1980. I'm not saying it. The CIA has said this. Even George W. Bush on during a press conference when he was in office on YouTube, he said that Nelson Mandela is dead, okay? See, Julius, oh my God. Malim, he's for the LGBT, okay? That's why he's going to hell another topic for another day. So Nelson Mandela, according to the CIA, had died in Poorsmore Prison in 1980 and had perpetuated a lie by bringing out a counterfeit... I, I, listen, I know this is crazy to the average person. I'm not saying it, Pastor Jody. I'm telling you with receipts, with the CIA operatives of Dr. Fiona Brume and Dr. Paul Echo said, including George W. Bush on YouTube during a press conference. He said Mandela had died in 1980. So if that's the case, who was this Mandela who was inaugurated as president of South Africa in 1994. Listen, I want you to hear me tonight. This is not what Bishop is saying. Don't go on the young turds, among the young Turks, and lie and say, oh, Bishop said that Mandela was a clone. I'm telling you what the agency said. This is the Mandela effect. Pre-arrest Mandela 
He was a Soviet asset. Post arrest Mandela from 62 to 80 was an asset of American intelligentsia or of the CIA. Black America, the Black diaspora, and our people throughout the continent of Africa, we've been lied to. Listen, so during the 12th century AD, now getting back to David Alroy, who created the uh, hexagon, hexagram, six-pointed sign. During the 12th century AD, a man by the name of Solomon Ben Duji, D U J I, claimed himself to be the prophet Elijah, which was a lie. And he had a son by the name of David Alroy, who was born in Baghdad, Iraq. Solomon Ben Duji was not Hebrew was not Kinzari, was not even an Israelite or an Israeli. Solomon bin Deju and his son, David Alroy, were Iraqi Persians who designed the six-pointed hexagon, hexagram symbol representing the nature of Lucifer's deception. Megan David or Mogan David and the symbol of the double hexagon, hexagram, pyramid was also called Solomon's seal. Not the seal of King Solomon, in First Kings, but the seal of Solomon bin Duje, a false prophet in the 12th century who claimed to be the prophet Elijah, and the seal of David's symbol or the shield of David, the star of David, was not talking about King David of 1st and 2nd Samuel. The shield of David, the seal of David, or this paganistical star of Rampham or Balfamet ta is talking about not King David, but David Alroy. Then after the 1917 Balfour Declaration, when Walter, Walter Rothschild uh, had designed both Saudi Arabia and the House of Saul or nothing but crypto Kazarians. What's a crypto Kazarian? Publicly, they are Muslim, but privately, they are Kazarians. I'm not talking about Jewish people. 99.9% .9 of the Jewish people are beautiful people. I'm talking about the synagogue of Satan, one family, the Rothschilds. So Walter Rothschild, I'm laying foundation before we get to Brother Jamie Fox, whose real name is Eric Bishop. So in 1917, the Balfour Declaration did two things. One, to establish the future state, there you go, Pastor Jill, of Israel through the essence of Zionism. And by establishing the foundation for the future state of Israel in 1948, three years after World War II, that foundation was laid in 1917 through the creation of the house of Saul. Now the term Saudi Arabia is nowhere to be found in scripture. The term Arabia is in the word, but not Saudi Arabia. See, these are fake names, Pastor uh, Bullock. 
So the house of Saul, they are not Arabians. They are not Middle Eastern. They are Turkish Kazarians. Yes, Muhammad bin Salman and the house of Saul, they're not true Arabians. They're not true Muslims. They are Turkish Kazarians perpetrating as Middle Eastern Muslims. They're called crypto domain Kazarians, okay? So, which then establish global oil for the West for generations. Lawrence of Arabia, another topic for another day. Now, as a side note, your bishop, I don't support the state of Israel. Neither do I support Zionism. I do support the nation of Israel, but I don't support the state of Israel. Can I take my time? Let me get a drink of water here. Listen, can I take my time this evening? I'm laying foundation. Now, some say, Bishop, just get to the top. You see, a lot of you want the jelly and the donut, but you have no knowledge how to make the dough. Now, we're laying foundation before we get to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7 concerning Jamie Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Thank you, Pastor Jody Bird and Pastor Sam and Pastor Ewing. The state of Israel, not the people, but the political structure of the state of Israel is a fabrication. Not the people, the political structure. The state of Israel was not created by God. The state of Israel is an anomaly state created by the Rothschild dynasty. Going back to the 1917 Balfour Declaration. I'm not talking about the precious Jewish people who are Israelites, but listen, they are Israelis. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The present day Jewish diaspora, I love them, Pastor Ty Kim. They are not Israelites. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They are simply Israelis. The Israelites are the black diaspora and our little brothers and sisters who we love are called Israelis who are not the original Hebrews neither are they, are they the original Jews every Hebrew is a Jew but not every Jew is a Hebrew the term Hebrew means he rules Abraham had Chaldean blood. The term Hebrew or Hebraic does not mean bloodline because the bloodline of Abram, Ram of the bush, who became Abram, Ham, Ham, Hemetic, Hermetic, covenant in Christ, Abram was not Hebrew by blood, he was Chaldean. Hebrew is not a bloodline. Hebrew is a covenant. Hebrew represents we are the essence of God's nature as we dominate the natural resources of the earth, not people, but the resources, okay, of land, air, and water. That's God's law. A Jew is one that perfects his Hebrewism as the essence of God. So every Hebrew is a Jew, but not every Jew is a Hebrew, okay? 
the state of Israel is a fabrication. I don't support the state of Israel because it is Rothschild design and Rothschild control. Well, what do you mean a fabrication, Bishop? Pastor Carolyn Miller, a fabrication means the state of Israel was built in Turkey, but moved to Palestine. Built in Mongolia, Genghis Khan moved to Palestine. Built in the southern section of China through the Han Dynasty, but moved to Palestine. They, the Western powers drove out the Palestinians, black and brown Palestinians, in order to place a people who are Israelis, but to witness they are not Israelites. So that I don't support the state of Israel, neither do I support Zionism. Zionism is so supported by Dr. John Hagee and all these pastors in the evangelical movement. And I was recently invited by John Hagee's son to be on his podcast coming up in July, talking about why I don't support Zionism. And I'm going on their podcast. Zionism was not designed by God. Brandon too, thank you, Pastor Colleen. Zionism is a creation of the Rothschilds through their agent, Theodore Hertz. Where you get the term Hertz or a vehicle that transports the dead, Hertz. And also the Hertz rental car company was designed by the generations of the bloodline of Theodore Hertz. Another topic for another day. So the term Zionism is nowhere to be found in scripture. Zion is there, the apostolic church, but not the political dogma called Zionism. Okay, I don't support the state of Israel. I love the people, but not the political structure. But Bishop does support the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel is the black diaspora, not just in America, but the black diaspora around the, and I'm not trying to make this a black and white thing, Pastor Carl and Pastor Colleen. So we are the original Hebrews. We are the original Jews, okay? I don't hate anyone or anything. I only hate Satan and demons, okay? That's the difference between the state of Israel and the nation of Israel. Now, getting back to foundation, there's a book called Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated. Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated. It talks about parallel universes or universes. The term uni means unity and verse means the scriptures. So when you talk about Christ created the universe, you're actually saying Christ created the unity of the scriptures. So I'm going to give you another mind-blowing radical insight. When it says in Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The heaven is not one entity. The heavens that we know are in our universe. We don't occupy the only universe. 
Apostle Ty Kemp, you got to hear me. We don't occupy the only universe. There are other universes and we're not the only earth. When it says in the beginning, God created the heaven in the earth. The term earth is the total compositions of all the stars in all of the heavens or the universes. We just occupy one uh, earth and one universe. God showed me a vision. He says, Bishop, you are in the flesh here. But who you are, Bishop, he says, uh, what I'm about to say is going to be radical. If your physical body exists on this earth, your spirit exists in on other planets. Let me say this again. If your physical body, can you imagine if you take a 3D picture, have you ever stood in front of a mirror of multiple mirrors and you're showing it's showing multiple versions of yourself? So the Lord showed me in a vision this morning, Pastor uh, Shabazz, that Bishop, you see yourself in a physical body, but that's only in one dimension on this earth. There are multiple, multiple dimensions and stratospheres, stratospheres of you, Bishop, in the spirit on other within other universes. Lord have mercy. Now people are going to think you're crazy and see this class is not for everyone. So you're only in your fallen state here. But what's inside of you cannot be contained in one soma body. What is inside of me uh, uh, Dr. Kip cannot be contained. What are you saying, Bishop? The real you is omnipresent. You see, you're, you're not God, but as God is, so are you in this world. So, before our fallen state, before Adam fell, he did not have a height, a weight, or mass. He was omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient as the manifestation of God's presence on the earth. No, Adam is not God, but Adam was the incarnation of God. So God says, Bishop, the real you cannot be contained in your body. The real supernatural apostolic you is throughout the universe. So the decisions I make today affect my spirit, through, oh Lord have mercy, throughout the universe. You see, this is called apostolicity. I gotta get a drink of water here. Can I take my time tonight? Listen. Let's continue the lay foundation concerning Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project complete, and his real name is Eric Bishop. I'll get to that. The Mandela effect, its symbol is the so-called so Star of David. Pastor Simon and uh, Pastor Sylvia my son and daughter, they sent me a powerful document some time ago that the Vatican is in the process of creating their own currency. I'm not talking about the Euro. The Vatican is in the process of creating their own currency. So this so-called star of David is not of Christ. It is a Mandela paganistic symbol which represents the upper pyramid Nimrod 
and the lower pyramid, his mother Semiramis. Nimrod, this is where you get the term Nimrodic, then had uh, sexual relations with his own mother, Semiramis. And then they had a child through incest called Tamaz. That's interesting. T A W M U Z. Tamaz was born on December 25th. Yeshua the Christ was not born on December 25th. Well, why, why am I talking about this? Listen, listen, uh, the Christ was not born. On December 25th, it was Antichrist called Timaz, born during the time of the winter solstice in the winter equinox. And the tree, which is forbidden by God through Jeremiah, no apostolic should have a tree. On the top of the tree is a five star pointed star of Baphomet, which represents Nimrod. The gifts underneath the tree represents the decapitated heads of children that once a year during the winter equinox in the winter solstice in Babylon, going back 5,000 years, the heads of the firstborn and the heads of the second born and the heads of the third born every year were cut off and put under trees throughout the Babylonian empire. That's look, that's demonic wisdom. Ba six by six, lawn six, 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 six. So the Hebrew mathematical sequence of the term Babylon is 666. Isn't it interesting? From the capital to the White House is six zentillion inches. From the White House to the Lincoln Memorial is six zentillion inches. From the Lincoln to the Jefferson uh, Memorial is six zentillion inches. And back to the capital, 6666. It represents a hexagram, hexagon, Mandela effect code. And the star of David has nothing to do with King David. It is the body of Nimrod, the upper paradigm of the upper pyramid, and his mother, Semiramis. The Mandela effect represents a global false contextualization of a specific event. According to the CIA, Nelson Mandela died in 1980. So 10 years later, who was this man who put up his fist leaving the prison system of South... I, I'm not saying it. The American intelligence community is saying it. South Africans, you have been lied to. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. It gets deeper. Stay there in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. Blood pathogen. Here comes the Mandela effect. Have you ever looked at the insignia, the logo of the man on the Monopoly game box? Can, can I just teach? This is the Mandela effect. I'm getting to Jamie Foxx. The term monopoly means to monopolize a slave. Monopoly. Now, as a side point, 
Why did the deep state, Dr. Ty Kemp, want wanted to destroy Kyrie Irving? No gold teeth, no braids, pants were not sagging, but they wanted to destroy him. And you know why? Because he just put up a posting. Stating that black America in the black diaspora, we are the original peoples. So Adam Silver tried to butt break Kyrie Irving. But look at look at the gangster, the fake gangster, Jaw Morant. <laughs> Dr. Kemp, he gets caught brandishing a gun. Okay, Pastor Sam, for a second time. The first time, he was only suspended for eight games. He was only suspended for eight games, went to rehab for three days, and got to play. Nike did not drop him, but they dropped Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is not... In N I double G A R or E R. No, listen, no goatee, pants not sagging, not brandishing a gun, but they want to destroy him because he's not a house Negro. But Jaw Morant, gun, bloods, crits, Knights of Malta. Braids, pants sagging. Look at the word sagging. Write it backwards. You, then you get the demonic paradigm of N I double G A S. It's a demonic sire. Add the letter G at the end of sagging and write that backwards rabbinically. Then you get G, then G, N I double G A S. I'm sorry, G unit. It, this is how, Pastor Ty Kemp, how the system looks at us. And you know why I get upset with black folk, especially Stephen A. Smith, Chris Broussard. Making excuses for this young man. Well, you know, the state of Tennessee uh, is not against the law to carry a gun. Stop! Stop making excuses. Stephen A. Smith is a boule. Chris Broussard of Fox Sports, these are boules. And the reason why they're taking up for little Jaw Moran, fake crit, fake blood. But this is the, listen, the reason why Nike won't drop Jaw, because this is how the system looks at us. They think we're thugs. They think we're boulets. And they think we have tattoos, gold mouth, braids, pants sagging. It's sickening, man. I'm sorry. Listen. These are Luciferian projects that are being completed. Where's Adam Sip? Well, we are investigating the video to see if the video was not doctored. Stop. Did you investigate the video that my brother Kyrie put up? No, you destroyed him. I got to go. Listen, because you love little Jaw Morant. This is how the system looks at black men. We are not thugs. We're not crack dealers. Our pants are not sagging. No gold teeth. No silver in our mouths. Pants not sagging. We speak proper dialect. Okay, but some way that's a threat to the system. Where was the ADL concerning John Moran? Where was Benet Barrett? You went after, <laughs> you try to come after me because I say 
that you're not the true Jews, but we are. So you call me an anti-Semite, okay? You go out to Farrakhan. I don't agree with Farrakhan's doctrine that some white man is God, but you go out to Farrakhan. You go after me. Why? Because we expose the synagogue of Satan, Rothschilds, not Jews, Rothschild. All of a sudden, I'm on some right wing watch list. We are sick of it, man. And there are black men we were not kissed to be behind of the system. I'm not Shaquille O'Neal who can't speak two coherent words and can't put two coherent words together. I'm not Shaquille O'Neal, okay? I'm not Shannon Sharp. I'm not Stephen, okay? Receding line Smith, okay? This is why there's a righteous indignation in me. And this is a part of the Mandela effect. And Farrakhan is fake too, Pastor Ty. He's a member of Omega Sci-Fi. He's Boule. Allow me to wipe some of the anointing off. Listen. Skip racist skinhead Bayless head said concerning the, and I'll get back to the Mandela effect. Give me two minutes. Jimmy Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Skip Bayless, a racist who constantly disrespects Shannon because Shannon is a house Negro, okay? Skip said that there were 200 music moguls, actors and actresses, who signed a petition through a Jewish organization called the Creative Community of Peace, was writing a petition to Barnes and Noble and to Amazon to take down the books that my brother Ronald Dalton had written from Hebrew the Negroes. Okay. But where was the 200 names of the Korean community of peace concerning Jaw Little Morant? Where are you? Where's the ADL? Where's been a Barrett? You're nowhere to be found. You know why? Because John Morant is not a threat to you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay? No one owns me. The only one that owns me is God. CBS, the Crack News Network, with Don Sweet T. Lemon, who was fired, Little, listen, <laughs> MSNBC with Rachel Madcow Madow and Joy Crisco Oil Reed, these deep, listen, I'm not controlled by the media. I'm contracted by God. Okay, listen, I didn't mean to get excited. I'm not angry. It's a righteous indignation. These are Luciferian projects completed. Five minutes before we get into the text of 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. Getting back to the Monopoly game, have you ever seen the old man wearing a top hat, a mustache, first designed in 1940 and six years later, the logo of the Monopoly game was given a name called Rich Uncle Pennybags, who is actually J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan, this is the Mandela effect, is the old man as the symbol of the Monopoly game. J.P. Morgan was just a, a slave, an agent of the Rothschild family out of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe. When you look at J.P. Morgan's symbol on Google Images of the Monopoly game symbol, his bow tie is the same structure of the Gmail logo 
that represents a Masonic apron. Wait a minute now. The Gmail logo is also the structure of the bow tie Mandela effect that J.P. Morgan or Mr. Pennybags on the Monopoly game, that bow tie is the Masonic symbol upside down. But you don't know because no one has taught you this before. That's called the Mandela effect. All of these years, we had no idea. And when you play Monopoly, a spirit of J.P. Morgan takes over you. That is the contextualization the contextualization of what we call sophisticated deception. Oh, Lord have mercy. The Mandela symbolisms right there in front of our face, Pastor Colleen. The contextualization, the contextualization of sophisticated deception. J.P. Morgan is the monopoly symbol of Mr. Moneybags. In the text, after one hour, 36 minutes, and 55 seconds, a module one, volume one of Jamie Foxx, here we go, here comes Jamie, a Luciferian project completed. St. Paul's second apostolic letter to the apostolic church in the area called Thessalonica, which is now called Thessaloniki in the central part of the nation of Greece. Second Thessalonians 2 and 7. Hear ye the word of the Lord in the mystery of iniquity don't already work. In other words, these symbols, monopoly, the catcher in the rye, the red horse on the front of the catcher in the rye book with codes like Kobe, January 20. How would J.D. Salinger, Salinger know that? The Kennedy assassination code because... J.D. Salinger was a 33rd and one half degree Scottish Rite Mason. When you look at the cover of the 1951 book, The Catcher in the Rye of the Red Horse, notice the head of the horse on the southeastern corner of the book, the head of the horse. If you remove the legs of the horse on the front of the catcher in the ride, it becomes the red map of the former Soviet Union. The Holy Spirit can only reveal this. And what does the Soviet Union have anything to do with the catch and the ride? Because it was ghost written by Soviet agents with the cover name of J.D. Selinger. The mystery of iniquity. Now getting back to blood clots, can I take my time tonight? I'm praying that those on Telegram, listen, Telegram, I'm, I'm not on Telegram anymore. It's ran by the CIA, okay? I'm not, I'm not on Telegram, I'm not on Rumble. Rumble's ran by the CIA, I know, okay? According, oh, you gotta write this down. According to the European Journal of Medicine, and also, according to the 2005 European Journal Journal of Cardiothoracic Surgery, T H O R A C I C Surgery, in the New England Journal of Medicine, 
it says that there are three different blood clots caused by the anomaly of the snake juice. A study was done back in 2005 by the European Journal of Medicine and the European Journal of Cardiothoracic Surgery that patients who would cough up blood clots because the snake juice was tested as early as 2005. First blood clots of 100 patients that were coughed up because of the testing of the snake bite juice, the blood clots were in the form of miniature trees. What came to my mind, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I want you to hear me tonight. Blood clots in the form, uh, Pastor Sam, of miniature trees. The Holy Spirit said, you're coughing up the clots of the knowledge of good and evil. The second type of blood clot that 100 more patients coughed up, this is 2005. These blood clots were in the form of butterflies. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. The Holy Spirit said the butterfly effect called the Mandela effect, chaos theory, and the theory of control on Google Images, chaos theory, the theory of control through the butterfly effect the symbol is shaped like a butterfly. But according to the European Journal of Medicine, it says that the second form of blood clots are in the form of butterflies. You're coughing up chaos theory. <laughs> you're cough Listen, you're coughing up chaos theory. You already coughed up miniature trees of the knowledge of good and evil. Now you're coughing up miniature butterfly symbols, clots in the form of butterflies. That's the symbol of chaos theory because of the snake juice. According to the 2005 European Journal of Medicine, in the Journal of Cardiothoracic Surgery, in the New England Journal of Medicine, going back to 2012, guinea pigs, people were tested with the snake bite juice. And there was a third blood clot that was formed, which represents an anomaly of a lung passage or branches. Lung passages or veins in the form of not just trees, knowledge of good and evil, butterflies, chaos theory, but lung passages as branches. What do you mean? A clot is a global anomaly, a biological anomaly representing your fallen state. These demons want to kill us. I cannot say the C word because we'll be taken down. I have to use wisdom. So the snake bite juice was taken by a young man by the name of Eric Bishop. Going back to 2022, who is Eric Bishop? Jamie Foxx, I'll get to him. Every sickness, every disease 
even the uncommon code, don't say common code, say uncommon code. A code is not common. It's not common to your original state as the spirit in Christ, but even a code is uncommon because it comes from your fallen state. Every sickness, every disease, every form of bacteria, every virus does not come from God. It came directly from the serpent. Pastor Sam sent me a powerful link that your Tropicana orange juice contains roaches called Conneal Conceal the Roaches in your Tropicana juice. Remember MRC by the Medical Research Council? Your snake juices made up of the crushed bones and sinews and muscles of aborted children. MRC5, per C6, HEK293, human embryonic cell strain 293. So people are drinking children, eating children, and children are being injected into you. I got to be careful because I don't want us to get a strike or be taken down. This is called the Mandela effect, chaos theory. Can you imagine blood clots looking like the symbol of chaos theory? Butterflies looking like miniature trees of the knowledge of good and evil, looking like long pas passages of tree branches from the tree. You're coughing up your fallen state. Why is it, and I thank God for a pastor calling my daughter, sending me some powerful information a few days ago, that inside of these bodies that the world calls human. Now, as a side point, you were not designed by Christ to be a human. Come closer. You were not designed by Yeshua the Christ to be human. Because the term human means sea monster in the 1935, 38, 45, in the 1948 edition of the Black Law Dictionary, which is used by the U.S. Congress and the U.S. Senate. Lawyers outside of the Congress and outside of the Senate don't use the Black's Law Dictionary. So you got to stop calling yourself human. You're not a sea monster. Mothers, Stop calling your children young people or youth. The term youth, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, youth means a young cattle. Your child is not an animal. He and she is not cattle. They are spiritual beings living inside of this fallen state called flesh. So you're not human. Human means humane, okay? Or that which is animalistic. Bishops calling themselves, I'm, I am the presiding primate or premate over this organization. Or the term primate means an animal. And thank you, Pastor Tierra. Stop calling your babies a fetus. The term fetus means an animal. Your child is not an animal. Your child is young, not young cattle. And I even found out today that according to the Bouvier Law Dictionary of 1936, the term job, J-O-B, it means employment on a plantation. 
on the 1936 <laughs> Bouvier Law Dictionary, including the 1945 Black's Law Dictionary, you said, I'm going to my job. You just got, got done cursing yourself. You just got done saying, Bishop, I'm going to my employer on the plantation. But you don't know because no one has taught you this. Jamie Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Second Thessalonians 2 is a mystery of iniquity. There is a great distinction or great distinctions between sin, transgression, and iniquity. See, the term sin just doesn't mean smoking and fornicating. Those are just the fruits of sin. Smoking, cussing, drinking, fornicating. Those are the fruits of the manifestations of sin. Oh, that's crazy, Pastor Anthony. Okay. Sin is a nature. Sin is, he, he drunk the Kool-Aid, CR. Sin is a nature. Now, Lucifer has been injected. I got to be careful. It, wait a minute. The snake juice is called Luciferase. Look at a Luciferase. Do you remember, the Holy Spirit told me, wait a minute, Bishop, everyone keep a marker there in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. Go back, matriculate back to the gospel according to St. John. Look up Luciferase now. St. John chapter 5, verse number 5. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. He was not born with, thank you, Pastor Colleen, with an infirmity. Notice the term infirmity in John 5 and 5. Infirmity. Firmity is a firm, legal firm, or infirmary. Pharmacia, pharmaceutical, sorceryism, witchcraft. The whole world is deceived by Lucifer's sorceries. That's in Revelation. Do you remember in the Gospels when the Sinferitian woman came to Yeshua? And including the Canaanite woman in Luke. My daughter is grievously vexed. Not possess, but vex with a devil. Connect the words a to the word devil. It becomes a cyprian term, a devil, which means advil. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait. 90 to 95% of snake juice capsules, I got to be careful, are named after some demon in Greek mythology, Cypher mythology, Roman mythology, Canaanite, Philistine, Philistia um, demonology and mythology. Ro Listen, now Bishop is not telling you no, don't take your medication, but you got to pray over it. Ask God to remove the spirits of the name that's attached to the capsule. Wait a minute. So my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. That term a devil becomes a cyphering term, meaning Advil. Ooh, so my daughter is grievously vexed with Advil. Pharmacia, pharmaceutical, witchcraft. John chapter 5, verse 5, infirmity, infirmary. Women, you have fallen in love with but broken, fractured men. 
who are 30, 40, 60, 80 years old, but emotionally they're five. You know why? He was raped at five, physically abused at five, rejected at five. So women, you did not fall in love with him. You fell in love with the organ. Men, you did not fall in love with the woman. You fell in love with the fulcrum of a woman's center. Listen, so in John 5 and 5, he was not born with a wound. He acquired that 38 years before John chapter 5, verse 5. Christ said in verse 6, John 5 and 6, will thou be made healed? No. Will thou be made Listen, cure, no. Will thou be made whole? It's the same. No, it's not the same thing. There's a threefold paradigm of healing. You're healed physically. You're cured emotionally. And you're made whole spiritually. This man's problem in John 5 and 6 was not physical. It was not emotional. It was spiritual. You have to properly diagnose the root of the problem. Don't concentrate on the addiction. Add, add, diction, dictionary, words. An addiction starts with words that you've been taught that you're no good. You'll never mount up to be a, you see? So the addiction don't concentrate on the addiction. I need you to concentrate on the root of the individual's pain. Why are you in pain? Concentrate on the root of the pain, which has conceived the trauma, which has given birth to the addiction. In addiction, you're allowing Satan to add something to your design that you don't need to have. Like a lying spirit, a backbite. That stuff does not need to be added to your design. Extrasensory perception <laughs> is a counterfeit form of discernment. Extra sensory, in other words, you're allowing demons to add something to your design uh, that you don't need. You don't need extra sensory perception because you have the gift of the Holy Spirit through discernment. And you notice in verse, where am I going this way? Notice in John 5 and 7. Notice the term, oh Lord have mercy. You know, I love, let me get my apostolic lean on. Notice in John 5 and 7, the term impotent, speak Holy Spirit. Notice the first two letters of impotent, um, the individual. And notice the last six letters of the, of the term uh, impotent is potent, which means power to the deep state you're impotent men and women to the deep state which means you're broken but to God you're not impotent just say I am potent you have all you see power is in the revelation of words impotent to the deep state but I'm potent to God the impotent man answered not the man who had power of spiritual potency, but the broken man answers, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled or infected. Now you've been taught by theologians in the past that God sent to the pool of Bethesda an angel that no, the word did not say that in John chapter 5. 
John chapter 5, verse 4, for an angel. I'm getting to Jamie Foxx or Eric Bishop. John 5 and 4, for an angel. Now connect the words and to the word angel. You get the name of a fallen angel in the Maccabees, volume 2, called Anagel. Wait a minute now. Why would you connect words together, Bishop, in the word? Because prior to the 325 AD conference in Nicene, Turkey, the word of the Lord did not have words that were separated. The word of God only had one apostolic sequencing code. Now the words are separated. In order to get to the truth, you got to interconnect the words. An angel, Anagel, was the name of a fallen angel, not just in the Maccabees volume two, but in the third volume of Enoch. This same angel is exposed by Paul concerning an angel of light that Lucifer, L, Satan, S, double D, does your LSD, can transform as a chameleon himself into an angel or an angel of light. Demons are the incarnation of Lucifer. As the unfallen angels are the manifestation of, of the presence of Christ, fallen angels or demons are the manifestations of the essence of Lucifer. Transformers. Look at that. And so, wait a minute now. In verse number seven, go up to verse four. John 5 and 4. For an angel, Christ is not saying this, the man is saying, what angel? Come here. No angel from God has the ability to heal. Let me say this again. No angel from God and no demons from hell have the ability to heal. So what type of angel was sent to that territory? Listen, deliverance ministers. What type of, it wasn't an angel from God. That was a, but Bishop, it says this angel went down. Do you remember the term strongholds? Second Corinthians chapter 10 verses four and five. Stronghold demons or atmospheric demons they give instructions to the strong men demons on the ground from Matthew 12, 29. This demon in John 5 and 4 was a stronghold sent by hell to trouble or to infect the water with a particular juice. This demon had Lucifer's the water because the term trouble not only means to infect in Persian, though we're in the Greek New Testament, but the Chaldean interpretation, though we're in the Greek New Testament, but the Chaldean interpretation of trouble is the term to Lucifer's. This angel Lucifer's or infected the water. But Bishop, whoever stepped in, wait a minute now, it says whoever stepped in was made whole. Not whole by God. This is a counterfeit hit. Do you know, I'm going to say something radical. Demons can heal, but it's a counterfeit healing. Any heat, let me wipe out some of the anointing off of my glasses. Listen, any healing from Satan, there is a string attached. Satan says, okay, you won't get cancer, but you'll get HIV. 
Okay, you won't get HIV, but you'll get prostate cancer. You see, dealing with Satan, there's always a string attached. But with Christ, there are no strings attached in Christ. It's a counterfeit healing. And whoever stepped in, they were made whole by demons or they were infected with other diseases. Okay, the disease they had is gone, but there's another disease. Now go back to 2 Thessalonians. I'm going to give you some time to pick up your jaws from the floor. When talking about politics assassinations, current political and world history. You always have to teach these paradigms from a biblical foundation. You will not understand what's going on with the Bulesica Society and with the possible assassination of Eric Bishop, I'm sorry, Jamie Foxx, unless you understand that Jamie Foxx said, I do not want the butt break, I do not want to dress like a woman, and I'm not going to sacrifice one of my daughters named Corrine. Second Thessalonians 2 and 7, the mystery of iniquity. So sin is a nature, and that sin, then, if it goes unchecked, grows into a transgression. A transgression means sin is moving. It's transient. And if the sin becomes transient and still not checked through confession, then that sin that is transient or moving from one territory to another becomes the perfected state of both sin and transgression called iniquity. Verse 8, and then shall that wicked one be revealed. Can I take my time tonight? Listen, Hollywood is watching tonight. Jimmy Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Say there in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. Dr. Felix Hausdorff, remember that German physician, H A U S D O R, double F, designed what he called the Hausdorff distance. The Hausdorff distance of six feet of separation from each other. In 2020, we had 7.7 .7 billion people on the face of this earth told to separate six feet from each other. Wait a minute now. We are told, okay, that 7.7 .7 billion people, okay, are told to separate six feet from each other. That's, to my understanding, that's 46 billion, 200 million degrees of separation. 46 billion. 200 degrees of separation. You and I have 46 chromosomes. 23 from your father, 23 from your mother, 46. 200 angels came on Mount Hermon in Enoch chapter 6, volume 1 of Enoch. God did not put 46 chromosomes in you. God did not breathe worms and snakes 
into you. Many doctors are saying that the body, half of it or more, has tapeworms. Where does those worms, they don't come from God. God did not breathe worms and tapeworms. Thank you, Pastor Colleen, for that information into us. That came from the serpent. Tapeworms. I know ministers who have their own funeral homes, even out here in Los Angeles. One told me from South Central a few days ago, Bishop, through the embalming of people, sometimes up to 60% of their bodies, we extract worms, Bishop. Worms. Worms don't come from God. They come directly from the serpent. Worms in your food and water, okay? Cheesecakes, all of that mess carries cockroaches, orange juice, worms, MRC5, baby parts. MRC5 through the Medical Research Council out of England, a part of British MI6, British British intelligence. People are eating parasites, drinking parasites, and parasites are going through your, and this is the reason why people have neuroplasticity. Remember? What is neuroplasticity as you say in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9? Neuroplasticity did not come from God, it came from the serpent. When a individual thinks a particular way, their brain becomes the shape of what you're thinking at this moment. Why do people get brain cancer? Because their thought is cancerous. Why is it that the brain has tumors? That don't come from God, that comes from the serpent because the brain becomes the shape of what you're thinking. You can't let it go, okay? You wanna lay hands on everybody, but you can't forgive your mother or your father. Listen, let it go. Neuroplasticity, the brain becomes the shape. When you look on Google Images, of the top of the brain on Google Images, a happy person has a healthy, unshaped brain, not in the shape of cancer or tumor, but a toxic person's brain that brain has two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and it looks with squinted eyes because the brain becomes your face, and the brain becomes the plasticity of your spirit. No one's, this is called neuroplasticity. Then you have neuroparasitology. What is neuroparasitology? It means that parasites, not just through bad eating, chicken from Popeyes, Church's fried chicken owned by the Klan, okay? KFC, biscuits from KFC and poison, McDuck poison. So when you eat that crap, why are you eating it? Because of the neuroplasticity of your brain, which has infected your decision-making because of parasites within the cortex of your brain. <laughs> parasites. So your thinking is not of the mind of Christ. To Christ, the truth, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. But there comes the counterfeit. 
Satan is saying, let this mind be in you, which is also in parasites. So you're, why do you think that black children are killing white children because of the plasticity of the brain with parasites? Why do you think white children are killing black children because of the plasticity of being subservient to a demonic administration called the Biden administration? You're thinking like a parasite instead of thinking like a non-toxic apostolic. Neuroplasticity, neuroparasitology. Second Thessalonians 2 and 9, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan, that's the Antichrist, with all power and signs and lying wonders. So the Hausdorff distance, 7.7 billion people in 2020, separated by six feet. Do you know, Pastor Simon, that was the largest and the most powerful global witchcraft seance in history. Because witches, they have to separate six feet from each other as they invoke demons from the underworld through Baphomet Luciferic codes of pentagrams and pentagons. The pentagon is the pentagram, which is the military section of our country. That's Baphomet. I'm gonna blow my nose. Listen. Some people don't like it. Too bad. I love you in here. Anyway, the Pentagon from Google Images is a five-pointed Baphomet symbol. So we got $2.9 trillion missing for the Pentagon because your military is under the spirit of of a pentagon, pentagram called Baphomet. As a side note, my beautiful sisters, what I'm about to say, I'm not calling you a devil. See, no, you are women of God, every one of you. Take a look on Google Images. As you type in the term uterus, the term uterus in Greek mythology, it means hysteria, hysteria. Oh, Romans 3.13, the poison of as, A-S-P, is under the lips. Aspirin, the first three letters of the term, aspirin pharmakia. Hysteria. Who did the serpent infect first the woman? Women, you did not have periods. Listen, in the beginning, let, let me allow me to say this again. You better write this down. God did not design the woman who was later called Eve with periods. A period is the beginning point of where the woman who was spirit but became pigmentation was butt broken. Oh my God. The removal of the, oh my Lord, hysterectomy. Listen, if that's a spirit, who put a period in a woman? It was that God, it was the serpent. Because in Genesis 4 and 1, the woman, Eve, bare Cain. Though we're in the Hebrew Old Testament in Genesis 4 and 1, but the Persian interpretation for the term bear is the term Mendenhall. Mendenhall. Look up the term Mendenhall on the Urban Dictionary. 
It means to mount up someone from behind while they are in a fetal or prenatal position on the ground. Number six, after the deed was completed of Lucifer raping the woman, he rolled her over. She became the number nine on the ground. Children for nine months are in a pre- Natal, a Mendenhall position of a number six for nine months. Why is that? It's a symbol of what Satan did to that woman. For the past 6,000 years, since Genesis 3 and 6, every single child in history, every single child in history, 117.8 billion people were born in history. We got 8 billion now. Every one of us was in a prenatal number six Mendenhall position. At the ninth month, the head in the body of your child turns upside down. It becomes the number nine. But there's an apostolic remedy in... Matthew 6 and 9, the Lord's Prayer, another topic for another day. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Women, not only did God not put in you a period, but God did not put into you women pre-menstrual cycles. I want you to hear me tonight. Well, Bishop, you know, the Lord, no, no, the Lord did not put in you, women, God appeared, neither did God put in you pre menstrual well, where did that come from? Your pre menstrual cycle genetically came from the serpent that before Lucifer's fall, he was the minstrel director of the music departments of the Ten Heavens. He's called the minstrel. The serpent is just the body organ of a fallen cherubim called Lucifer. It's not a name, it's a state of being. Adam is not a name, it's a state of being. So women, you have to, God allows you through his mercy to purify toxic blood out of you. You're not demons, you're saved, you're women of God, but that cycle has to take place because genetically when that stuff comes out, that is the residue of what the serpent left 6,000 years ago. No one has taught you this. So the Hausdorff distance, 7.7 .7 billion people times six feet, that's 46 billion, 46 chromosomes, 200 million degrees, 200 angels came on Mount Hermon. Mount Hermon today is not just the 33rd degree parallel on the earth. 33 degrees of the Masonic order, but it also represents Paramount Studios. Paramount Studios and Paramount Studios Plus, I always go to events there, okay? And some officials come up to me during red carpet and say, wow, Bishop, I didn't know that, okay? I'm not talking about Jews, I'm just talking about the symbol. And so, when the stars at the beginning of every Paramount studio movie or television show, stars that come out of the sky or fallen angels, they graze a watery ravine and they go around this mountain, 22 stars, 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, 22 fallen angels on Mount Hermon. As a side point, stay there in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. Jamie Foxx, whose real name is Eric Bishop, a Luciferian project completed. 
How many of you has seen the logo on the insignia of Columbia Pictures? I'm getting into that in a minute, Pastor Tim. Thank you so much. Columbia Pictures. It's the goddess called Diva in Greek mythology who is also at the top of the capital. It's not a man. It's the goddess called Diva. This is where you get the term divination. Acts 16, 16, divination. So women, stop calling yourself Diva. You're cursing yourself. Another topic for another day. Columbia Pictures. Now look at the woman. Now look on Google Images. At the bottom of her gown, it's her foot that stake. Oh Lord, have it's her. It's it's the head of a serpent that has now become her legs. You see, only an apostle can reveal. Look at it now. Columbia Pictures, the light bearer. Thank you, Pastor Jeremy. Many of the pictures, most of them has at the bottom, not her foot coming out. It is the foot of a serpent's head. Starbucks, part woman, part fish, or part serpent. A male, part male, part snake, or part fish, Dagon. Part female, part fish, or snake, Dagonness. Columbia Pictures. The bottom of her gown is a serpent coming out. This is what I'm designed by God to expose. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9, the Hausdorff distance, which represents a global witchcraft seance. The snake juice was the initiation at the seance. In 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9, the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Pastor Colleen, I received some information. My staff, let me tell you, I got the best staff in America and the best staff of researchers in this world. Stay there in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. We're coming into... Eric Bishop now, Jamie Foxx. My contacts in the government, and what I'm about to say, you will not find it on Google or Yahoo or whatever. Next, you won't find it on AOL. You will not find this anywhere. So let me get this out, okay, in the open. And I've got this information. Uh, now, as a side point, Pastor Colleen, this woman who lied on President Trump, who received $5 million, her name was E. Jean Carroll, had accused President Trump of rape, which was a lie. Do you know E. Jean Carroll, who accused President Trump of rape, her legal team was funded by a multi-billionaire by the name of Reed Hoffman. Capital R-E-I-D Hoffman with two Fs. Who's Reed Hoffman? He is the creator and the founder of LinkedIn, the business website LinkedIn. Reed Hoffman, his name is on the flight manifest, Pastor Sam, 
on the Lolita Express as being connected to Jeffrey Epstein. Mandela effect. The same man who funded, tried to destroy President Trump by funding millions of dollars to the legal defense of E. Jean Carroll is a pedophile. There's no fear in me because I've got the testicular fortitude to say what needs, that's why I'm hated because I spoke, I speak truth to power. I don't fear death. Why? Because I'm an apostle of Jesus Christ. Read Hoffman is on the flight manifest, Dr. Kemp, along with Kobe Bryant's name and Bill Gates in the Clintons. They're all involved with this mess, including Prince Andrew, with this mess of not just having rape parties, on the Lunito Express, Reed Hoffman. But Reed Hoffman said, well, I just rode on uh, Mr. Epstein's flight just one time, just to visit his island, to talk, stop. You you wasn't there, Reed, to talk business. Reed Hoffman is a pedophile, okay? I'm not talking about the C word. You two don't take it down. Reed Hoffman, the creator of Lincoln, worth two billion dollars. His name is on the flight manifest, along with Bill Gates, in the Clintons, in the Obamas. Okay, along with Kevin, what's his name? Kevin Stacy. What's his name? The uh, the actor is it Kevin Stacy? Is that his last name, Stacy? I might be mispronouncing his last name. Okay, Spacey, thank you, Pastor Colleen. Kevin Spacey, his name is on the flight manifest. Who was the brother that played on the, the African-American brother that played on Rush Hour? Okay, what's his name? He was in this movie called Air, the, about the life of Michael Jordan's connection to the Nike Corporation. Chris Tucker, thank you, positive. Chris Tucker's name is on the flight manifest. Chris Tucker, okay? Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Reed Hoffman, who went after President Trump, but Reed Hoffman's name is on the flight manifest, including Kobe. Why will Kobe Bryant's name be on the flight manifest? That's why they took Kobe out because not just because of the pharmaceutical lawsuits against Kobe, I mean against that Kobe had against the Novartis AG group and say, okay, Acorn and High Tech Pharmaceuticals. They took out Kobe because Kobe knew too much. Okay, and now the deep state went after the Rock Johnson. Lawsuits against him for sexual assault. Wait a minute now. The Rock Johnson, they're going after him. These are demons. Beyonce, Gay-Z, I'm saying Jay-Z, his name is on the flight manifest, including Eminem. Rock is canceled. Look at that. Okay? They're after him because there was something they wanted him to do, Pastor Colleen. He said no. Okay? Oh, Lord have mercy. Rock <laughs> is a demon in capital letters. Get Mo. E. Jean Carroll received $5 million. Okay, if she was raped by President Trump, why didn't this... Why didn't she just come out with it in 2015 when President when Donald Trump was running for the presidency? 
She's lying, okay? So these woke judges convicted, okay, here's five million, she's lying. But Reed Hoffman gave her millions of dollars to hire legal prosecutors, but his name, Reed Hoffman's, is on the flight manifest of Jeffrey Epstein's plane, the Lolita Express. Okay? You're dealing with demons, man. Okay? Second Thessalonians 2 and 9, the Antichrist. Look up this man. Now, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let me, let me take my, oh, Lord. Listen, I don't want to keep you all night. According to my contact in the LAPD, a man by the name of Bo Man. Oh, it gets deeper here now. Bo, B-E-A-U, man. M A double N, his, he went missing for 18 months. Now, what does Bo Man have anything to do with Eric Bishop or Jamie Foxx? Bo Man, back in 2015, created an online app dealing with drug addiction called. The Sober Grid Corporation. The Sober Grid Corporation, headquartered in Boston, Mass. But they have an outlet office in Studio City, California. Bo Man and the Sober Grid Corporation, you won't find this online. This comes from two contacts I had, and I'm not going to say that I'm not going to be end up six feet under. I'm not stupid. My contact said that Bo Man, one of his financial benefactors, besides the National Institutes of Health, under the branch of the CIA was a man by the name of Hunter Biden. You're not ready for this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You won't find it online. Hunter Biden was a major financial supporter of Bo Man, whose body was found last month in an abandoned field in Santa Monica, California. Why? Bone Man, along with the trip, capital T R I P P, VR Corporation, they specialize, listen, in virtual reality. What does virtual reality have anything to do with drug addiction? A woman by the name of Nania Reeves created Trip VR Corporation. Who is Nania Reeves? She is the cousin of Keanu Reeves, the actor. Let's go slow. The Trip Corporation also received the funds along with Sober Grid from a man by the name of Jacob Rothschild in 2015. If you remember, the Malaysian flight MH370 that went missing, Mandela effect, went, went, went missing. Back in March 2014, 21 Chinese and Malaysian nationals perish on that flight. I'll tell you where their flight went to. It went to Diego Garcia. 
an island that you, that is not cannot be seen on a map. Why? Because the British government owns it, but it's ran by American intelligence. Diego Garcia, twenty one Chinese and, and Malaysian nationals who were engineers working for a CIA engineering company out of Austin, Texas, free-scale semiconductor. I'm coming to Eric Bishop, okay, that you call and we call Jamie Foxx. Three days after that flight went missing, Jacob Rothschild became the sole owner of a super microchip called the KL-03 microchip, which has the U.S. patent of 867-1381-B1. The U.S. patent of 867-1381-B, like in Brad, 1. Three days after that flight went missing, Jacob Rothschild became the sole owner. What was so special about this microchip KL-03? The microchip developed by the CIA through Freescale Skip My Conductor in Austin, Texas, had the ability to crash global stock markets. At the stroke of a key, has the ability to hijack cars. Okay? Paul Walker, at the stroke of a key, has the ability, I'm talking about the microchip KL-30, has the ability not just to control cars, but trains Helicopters, listen, Kobe. Kobe's helicopter was remote controlled to go from below the clouds where the passengers had visibility forced to go up above the inside of the clouds that crash. The chip KL-30 controls not just trains, cars, helicopters, but jet airliners, the World Trade Center, jet airliners, the Pentagon, jet airliners crashing on a cornfield in Pennsylvania that was headed to the CIA in Langley. Jacob Rothschild is a devil. His family is the synagogue of sin. I'm not talking about Jewish people. 99.9% .9 of the Jewish people are absolutely beautiful people who hate the Rothschilds. I'm talking the Rothschild family. I'm praying that God takes them out. And it's my job to push these devils into hell as fast as I can. That's a part of, of, of a Luciferian project, the Mandela effect. Okay, we can find a penny on the ground, okay, from satellites in space, Pass the tie camp, but you telling me you can't find a jet airliner with 200 people? The devil is a lie. Second Thessalonians 2 in 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, this is the Antichrist, and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, for this cause, God gave or allowed them to matriculate into strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Let me to wipe some of the anointing off. Listen, this is module one, volume one. 
of Eric Bishop, I'm sorry, Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Listen, patriots. Strong delusion, 2 Thessalonians 2.11. Here we go. In 2002, a woman reported that Jamie Foxx sexually assaulted her in a Las Vegas hotel called the Venetian. 2013 to 2019, Jamie Foxx is in a relationship with the actress Katie Holmes. Now, why is this so important? Now, Katie Holmes is the ex-wife of Tom Cruise, who's a part of the Church of Scientology. January 18th, 2016, Jamie Foxx rescues a young man from a burning vehicle that crashed outside of the home of Eric Bishop or Jamie Foxx on the 18th of January, 2016. The driver's name was a man that called himself Brett Cow. Capital K Y L E. But that was not his true name. Brett Cow was at the time a driver for the Sober Grid Corporation, whose owner was found dead last month in Santa Monica, Bo Man. Brett Cow was under the influence of being a delivery truck driver. He was under the influence. He crashed. So wait a minute now. So Jamie Foxx rescued this young man. April the 12th, 2023, and I'm going to come back to Brett Cow, whose real name is Cal Abramson. Cal Abramson is Brett Cow, whose real name is Cal Abramson from Yorba Linda, California, who was the Uber driver for Bo Man. Back in November of 2021, when Bo Man, the chairman of Sober Grid, went missing. April 12th, 2023, the, one of the daughters of Eric Bishop, whose real name is Jamie Foxx, his, one of his daughters by the name of Corrine, was hospitalized after an unspecified medical emergency. That sounds familiar. She suffers from high blood pressure, and so does her father, Eric Bishop, whose real name is Jamie Fox, who had received three juice, three forms of juice, thus, thus another two forms, I got to be careful that had developed blood clots in the brain and heart of Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx changed his name from Eric Bishop to Jamie Foxx, named after Red Fox, who was a member of not just the Prince Hall Masonic Order, Red Fox. And he personally, Red Fox knew Malcolm X personally, another topic for another day. But also, Jamie Foxx, if you remember the movie called Collateral, remember that? I think it's called Collateral with Tom Cruise, whose real name is Mopperther, Mopperther, M-A-P-O-T-H-E-R, Tom Cruise. It gets deeper. 
Now, remember the driver, Brett Cow, who crashed his vehicle in front of the house of Eric Bishop, a.k.a. Jamie Fox, January 18th, 2016. At the time, Brett Cow was working as a delivery driver for the company Sober Grid, which was owned by Bo Mann. Bo Mann's body went missing a year and a half ago. They found him in an abandoned lot in Santa Monica, California, down to bones. Brett Cow, whose real name is Cow Abramson, was the Uber driver that drove Bo Mann in November 30th, 2021. Brett Cow or Brett Abramson is also was also the CEO, the CEO of his own company. Okay, that specialize in drug addiction. Wait a minute now. Brett Cow crashes his car in front of Eric Bishop's, aka Jamie Foxx's home working for the Sober Grid Company, the same company whose CEO was found dead last month in an abandoned lot in Santa Monica. Brett Cow, whose real name is Brett Abramson, was the last man who saw Bo Man alive because Brett Cow, Brett Abramson, worked as a Uber driver. You won't find this on the Crack News Network. These are sources. Now, you can, you will not find this on the internet. Sober Grid, which was financially subsidized, not just through the CIA in connection to the National Institutes of Health, with Dr. Little Tony Mitchell Fauci, but also by Hunter Biden a crack addict himself. The Sober Gray Corporation is a digital behavior health solution addiction recovery online system. Bo Man went missing on the 30th of November, 2021, on a Sunday afternoon, he took a Uber drive from 7-Eleven, now this doesn't make any sense, a multi, multi-millionaire CEO of the Sober Grid Corporation takes a Uber drive from 7-Eleven and goes to Santa Monica. He went missing on November 30th, 2021. The Uber driver whom the LA Times never identified, but I know who he is. And many LAPD officers know who he is. He went by the name of Cal Abramson, which is his real name, AKA Brett Cal, the same driver who crashed in front of Eric Bishop's house or J.B. Fox's house back in 2016 is the same driver under the name Cal Abramson, who was the last driver, the last person to see Bo Man alive. I'm going to give you some time to pick up your jaws from the floor. Jamie Fox, a Luciferian project completed. Stayed there in 2 Thessalonians, now 2 and 11. Strong delusion. Bo Man, B E A U Man, M A W N, the founder of the Sober Great Corporation, Corporation, went missing on November 3rd, 2021. Ordered a Uber outside of a 7 Eleven, 7 Eleven near the Sober Grids LA office in Studio City, California. Bo Man, while in the Uber, 
driven by Cal Abramson, whose real name is Brett Cal, same man who crashed his delivery car when he worked for Sober Grid in 2016, crashed it in front of Jamie Foxx's home. Bowman was texting 911 from inside of the Uber car of Cal Abramson, aka Brett Cow. Why was Bowman texting 911? Remember Lorenzen Wright, the former NBA player? Let me tell you something as a side note. Pastor Kemp, you, 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 you know, being in Tennessee. Uh, Apostle Kim, you and Apostle Carlotta, you know the news about the death of Lorenzen Wright. The death, as a side note, of Lorenzen Wright had nothing to do with, with his wife. She was behind it. Okay? And these other fools that she hired to take out her husband. But that wasn't the real reason why that Lorenzen Wright was liquidated. Lorenzen Wright, you won't find this on the internet, was scheduled to testify, okay? Two weeks later, before the Congress, concerning illegal gambling in the NBA. Lorenzen Wright was taken out, not just because of his wife, and these three gangsters who took him out, one of them was a deacon in Lorenzo Wright's church. But the question is, who hired them? He was scheduled to testify before, there you go, Pastor Solon, because the NBA is rigged. David Stern dies, the late commissioner of the NBA, he was set to testify then all of a sudden he dies of a heart attack. The NBA is a, you know, this is deep past the Jody Bird. Back to Bowman, B-A-U-M, B-A-B-E-A-U, man, M-A-N-N. He was texting 911 while inside of the Uber car of one Cal Abramson. He was dropped off, Bowman was dropped off in Santa Monica, Santa Monica, California. Brett Cal is Cal Abramson, who at the time in 2016 was a driver for Bowman's company, the Sober Grid Corporation. It gets deeper. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Stay there in the text. Second, Second Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12, especially in verse 11, strong delusion. Brett Cow, Cow Abramson, is the owner of a company whose website is no longer active called The Burning Hearts Unlimited, out of Yorba Linda, California research. This is this is nuts, Brother Charles. It's crazy. From the surface, the Burning Hearts Unlimited Company, Yorba Linda, California, is a ministry, but behind it, they specialize in helping drug addicted addicts. But Bo Man, we're told not only created the Sober Grid Corporation in 2015, but also the deep state knew, as they also knew, remember Dr. was his name, the pastor out of Orlando, Zachary Timms. They found Zachary Timms in New York in the W Hotel at the time owned by the Prisco family out of Chicago, where the crime scene was staged as if Dr. Zachary Timms took his own life. That was a lie. Bo Man was a crack addict before he created Sober Grid. All of a sudden now, 
LAPD and the Santa Monica police were told, oh, he died of a drug overdose. So his body goes missing from November 30th, 2021 from a 7-Eleven in Studio City, California. And his body was found by a homeless person in an abandoned lot in Santa Monica, California on the 25th of April, 2022, where the remains of Bo Man was found in an abandoned lot in Santa Monica, California that was identified by the coroner of L.A. County. Now, what I'm about to say, you're not going to find it online. This is called sources. The right skeletal bone foot of bone man, his right big toe and his second toe right beside his big toe, according to the L.A. Coroner's Department, and also according to the Coroner's Department of the Santa Monica Police Department, found a needle hole in his bone between his big toe and the toe next to the big toe. Only the CIA or the intelligence community takes out people like that. It gets deeper. An actress by the name of Joe Good, G O O D E, who is Joanne Good, lived in the 2900 block of Santa Monica Boulevard in Santa Monica. Joanne Good, a local actress at the time had a relationship with Bo Man, but at the same time, Bo Man had a relationship with the man who that he, Bo Man, was engaged with. It gets deeper here. Eric Bishop, Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Joanne Good, who was set to testify at the coroner's inquest in February of 2023, dies in her home on January 14th, 2023, from undisclosed medical problems. Join Good knew Bo Man. On the 1100 block, 11,000 block of Ventura Boulevard in Studio City, Bo Man ordered a Uber from 7 Eleven and all the way a 35 minute drive to Santa Monica Boulevard in Santa Monica, California to the 2900 block of the Santa Monica Boulevard to see Joanne Good who supposedly was sleeping with Bo Man, who then, as a homosexual, was engaged to another man. It gets deeper. The Sober Grid Los Angeles headquarters is in Boston, but the LA office is in Studio City. The Sober Grid Corporation, which was also heavily supported by Hunter Biden, is an addiction recovery online system where addicts can get medical help through an app. According to the LA coroner's office, I have to be careful here, a needle puncture in between the right toe bone, the bone of the right toe, and the bone of the next toe, besides the big toe, the coroner's office of the LA County Coroner's Office found a needle hole in the bone between the right big toe of bone man and his second toe, 
after. See, only the CIA does stuff like this. The blood clots, according to the LA Coroner's Department, even down to the bones, they could ascertain medically that bone man was filled with blood clots. Murderous injection. Bold man texted 9-11, according to the LAPD, like Lorenzo Wright did in Tennessee. The gold, oh my God, this gets deeper. The sober great corporation out of Boston, Mass., with the LA office in Studio City, California. The funding came from the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health, branches of the CIA, and also an additional $150,000 in 2015 came from Hunter Biden to create the Sober Grid Corporation. It gets deeper. The fiance of Bold Man is a man by the name of Jason Abate, capital A-B-A-T-E, who found out that his fiance Bold Man was sleeping with Joanne Good a major drug dealer in the Santa Monica area. You see, people don't know this, Pastor Mincy, okay? What does, what does this have to do with Jamie Foxx? Because the driver who drove Bold Man, Cal Abramson, had called himself in 2016 Brett Cow, the same man who crashed in front of Jamie Foxx's house and all of a sudden now, Jamie Foxx, I told, I was told today, he's actually dead. Now, I, there's no proof of that. I'm told he's dead in this thing, Mandela Effect, that was in an Atlanta hospital, transported to a Chicago rehab center, which is near... The corporation called the Trip Virtual Reality Chicago-based office, which is owned by the cousin of Keanu Reeves, Nania Reeves, who was the business partner of Bow Man of the Sober Grid Corporation. The fraternity that Jamie Foxx belonged to. is Omega Sci-Fi. Jamie Foxx was a 33rd degree Prince Hall Mason who wanted to come out. This is how these devils do. This is how these demons do. Nipsey Hussle, dead. Kobe, dead. Chadwick Boseman, dead. Okay? They warned Dr. Dre who almost died. That was a warning shot. They're warning, they're warning Kanye West as well. They took out Kanye West's mother and now Jamie Foxx. There's a website called Mira, M I double O R, M I double R O R dot C O dot U K. Or just type in, just type in. Heartbroken fiance of tech CEO fears he, bold man, was murdered after skeletal remains found. Type on Google on Google.com. Heartbroken fiance of tech CEO fears he, bold man, was murdered after skeletal remains found. You notice on that link, on the merit.co.uk link, heartbroken fiance of tech CEO fears he was murdered after skeletal remains found. You notice at the bottom left-hand corner of that opt-ed, under the link page of Missing Bow Man, $5,000 award. There are two pictures of Bowman. 
The one on your left is Bowman, but this character on the right is not Bowman. Do you understand we're being lied to? Bowman, Joanne Good, Jason Abate, A-B-A-T-E, the fiance of Bowman, Brett Kyle, Crash Car, fun of Jamie Foxx's house, 2016. But Brett Kyle's real name is Cal Abramson, who at the time also worked as a Uber driver and was the last one that saw Bowman alive on the 30th of November, 2021. And the question we have to ask ourselves, what did Jamie Foxx know that got him almost destroyed? April 2023, during the Netflix production of the movie, Back in Action, Jamie Foxx, in the middle of April, suffered a massive stroke. Many people here now, they think it's an inside job, facts, receipts. Jamie Foxx was foaming at the mouth through his nose, his eyes, his ears, his nose, and his mouth. You won't see this on CNN or the LA Times. Jamie Foxx, Eric Bishop, was a member of not just Omega Sci-Fi, but same way somehow, he also became a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. How is it that one black man can become a part of two black boule organizations? Omega Sci-Fi and Alpha Phi Alpha, but he wanted to leave Omega Psi Phi and Alpha Phi Alpha. He was not willing to sacrifice his children and he was not willing to wear dresses. See, this is what happens. The Boulay Sicker Society. Alpha Phi Alpha was founded on December 4th, 1906 at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. The filming began in Atlanta back in action. Okay. In March 20 March 27, 2023, and wrapped in late April, whereas a lot of the executive producers of the show of the Netflix movie back in action had to use body dub doubles in the place of Jamie Foxx because he was foaming at the mouth, the eyes, the nose. And according to witnesses, backside, a stroke doesn't do that. In connection to the driver of a sober great car, a van, 2016, crash in front of Jamie Foxx's home. Jamie Foxx was poisoned. Brett Cow, the same Brett Cow whom Jamie Foxx saved. And Jimmy Fox found out his name is not Brett Cow. His name is Cow Abramson. All of a sudden, Jamie Fox gets poisoned. And it's a picture of his face in a hospital, swollen, unrecognizable. Stro stroke doesn't do that. The Sober Grid Corporation received a $1.7 million grant from the National Institutes of Health in the National Institute on Drug Abuse, October 1st, 2019. Along with his business partner, a woman by the name of Nenea Reeves, N-A-N-E-A -E Reeves, the cousin of Keanu Reeves, the CEO and the co-founder of a corporation called Trip. If you go to their website, T-R-I-P-P 
www.tpmedia.com. You go to their website, tripp.com. They specialize in the mindful metaverse. What does the mindful metaverse, metaverse or virtual reality have anything, have anything to do with drug addiction, health, and recovery, the Sober Grid Corporation? Nanea Reeves says on her Instagram page, and it's still there unless she took it down. Nanea Reeves, N A N E A Reeves, R E E V E S, said when Bo Man died, her friend, she said Bo was struggling with some bored. In teen dynamics. What does that mean? She said it on her Instagram page. She said Bo struggled, was struggling with some bored in teen dynamics. What does she have to do with drug addiction and drug recovery? But the Trick Corporation is heavily financed through the CIA through many capital venture capital groups. The Sober Grid Corporation, along with the Trip VR Virtual Reality Corporation with Nanea Reeves, Nanea Reeves, the cousin of Keanu Reeves, was previously the COO of the Nema Corporation, M-A-C-H-I-N-I-M-A in virtual reality, which she had a contract with the Central Intelligence Agency concerning the paradigm of metaverse. The trip, notice the term trip. Her business partner, who was found dead last month, Bo Mann, creates back in 2015, the Sober Grid Corporation to help drug addicts, you know, gain victory over their drug addictions. But his business partner, Nanea Reeves, creates a virtual reality meditation wellness corporation called TRIP. Trip the science engineered for mindfulness. What is it? It's mind control. She has a program called the Oculus Quest. O C U L U S the Oculus Quest. Jimmy Fox was was connected to her because he also financially subsidized her new company called the Trip VR Corporation Virtual Reality. Nanea Reeves was and still is a board member of the Messino Media Corporation. The Messino Media Corporation. Wait a minute now or Medicinal Media Corporation. Before that, she was a board member of a corporation called Saucy, the sauce, S-A-U-C-E-Y. Before that, Nanea Reeves, the business partner of the man that was found dead last month in Santa Monica, Bo Man, Nanea Reeves, back between 2011 and 2012, was the chief strategy officer and the chief product officer and an advisory board member for a corporation called the Gaia Ka Corporation, G-A-I-K-A-I, -A -A -I, which is owned by the Sony Group Corporation. 
The Gakea, which is a Japanese word, is a corporation that provides technology of high-end video games, which she was contracted by the Central Intelligence Agency. What interest would the CIA have in video games? The Gaia, G-A-I-K-A-I Corporation, owned by Sony, is a pre-Sony acquisition funded by Intel Capital, Limelight Networks, Roostic Canyon Partners, the Benchmark Capital Group, the Triple Point Capital Group, Nay, NEA, New Enterprise Associates, and by Calcom out of San Diego. Calcom specializes in free scale semiconductor microchips, just like free scale semi semiconductor in Austin, Texas, the, Malis the missing Malaysian flight. Wait a minute now. Calcom who gave Nania Rees millions of dollars, not just to start Gaia, G-A-I-K-A-I, but also to start TRIP. Calcom is headquartered in San Diego, but they are incorp incorporated in Delaware. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. They're headquartered, Calcom, in San Diego, but they are legally incorporated in Delaware. Who got them that incorporation? When Joe Biden was senator of the state, of, why would a California-based corporation be legally incorporated in Delaware? The Freescale Semiconductor Corporation out of Austin, Texas, ran by the venture capital group called NQTEL, who owns NQTEL, the CIA. Nania Reeves, who owns TRIP, you can look up the website, TRIP, T -R -I -P -P .com. In 2022, she received a, oh my God. Oh, I wish I had time. She received, in 2022, an $11.2 million grant from InQtel with the blessing of the CIA. The address for the Trip Corporation here in LA is 5877 Obama Boulevard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Unless they move 5877 Obama Boulevard in LA and they got a Chicago office supposedly near the rehab center that Eric Gibson, Jamie Foxx, is recovering from in Chicago. You see, there's no fear. In, do you understand? Follow the bloodlines and follow the money, Pastor Gary Walker. In my conclusion, <laughs> is your minds blown? Telegram, listen, oh, listen, patriots, you got to watch this tonight. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Allow me to get a drink of water. Listen. From 2 Thessalonians 2 and 12. Go to the key verse of Ephesians 6 and 12, and we are done tonight with module one, volume one of Eric Gibson. I'm sorry. Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed. Listen, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. And since there are rulers of the darkness of this world, there are rulers of the darkness of other worlds, spiritual wickedness in high places. The Trip VR Corporation, 5877 Obama Boulevard. Oh, Lord have mercy. In Los Angeles, unless they move. Is in legal connection to 
the translating research into practice and policy or trip at the University of Connecticut Health Center, which is owned by InQtel, which is owned by the CIA. Translating research into practice and policy at the University of Connecticut, Connecticut Health Center, where they also specialize in the mindfulness of the metaverse, mind control of virtual reality. Jamie Foxx supposedly is at a rehab center near the Chicago office of the Trip VR Virtual Reality Corporation, an $11.2 million grant, not just from InQtel, in but from other venture capital groups, the Big Craft Corporation, B I T K R A F T Ventures, the Amazon Alexa Fund. Calcom out of San Diego, the Niantic, N-I-A-N-T-I-C, Venture Capital Group, in the Mayfield Venture Capital Group, gave Nanea Reeves, not just $11.2 million in 2022, but recently gave her company, Trip, a $300 million startup capital fund to expand the trip virtual reality center is mind control and why would she say about her so-called friend on instagram although was struggling with some board platform you see what does she know and also that $300 million was also um, gone into the coffers of the Trip Corporation from another venture capital group called the Coulter, C-O-A-T-U-E, in the expansion of the real world of the metaverse. What is the metaverse? It's virtual reality spacing used as a interaction with computer generated computer generated games to provide a comfort piece of your environment it's my control it's called the control of theory and now Jamie Fox i believe his life is on the line. I don't believe he's dead yet, but his life is on the line. And this is the manipulation of reality, time, and probability. And that is my end tonight. At the three hours, 28 minutes, and 25 seconds of Jamie Foxx, a Luciferian project completed, and I thank you. Listen, receipts research. That was a warning shot because Jamie Foxx found out that the driver that crashed in front of his home was not who he said he was. His name was not Brett Cow, it's Cow Abraham who ended up being exposed by Jamie Foxx because Jamie Foxx called the LAPD. Oh, I know this guy that drove both man back in on the 30th of November, 2021. That's why Jamie Foxx was poisoned. Thank you, everyone, for being with the bishop tonight. I'm going to blow my nose one more time. If you don't like it, I love you, but I got to do it. Listen. Let me ask you guys a question. Was your minds blown tonight? Put up those faces. Don't leave us. Oh, my God. Listen. 
And you know what? Did you see, and this is part of not just Jamie Foxy Luciferian uh, project completed, but also a part of the Mandela effect. At CIA, listen, patriots, at CIA director Mike Morell, M O R E double L, has said in a legal affidavit that he had contracted 50 spies from the CIA and paid them to sign a letter saying the Hunter Biden's laptop scandal was a Russian disinformation. The former director of the CIA, Mike Morrell, who was the CIA director in 2011, and again, the CIA director for four months between 2013 and 14, said recently in a legal affidavit that he contracted 50 spies and paid them off from the CIA to lie by signing a letter stating that Hunter Biden, the same one who financially supported Bowman Sober Gray Corporation, that Hunter Biden's laptop scandal was a Russian disinformation tactic to help Joe Biden win the 2020 presidential election. Do you understand? This is the deception of reality, time, and probability, your et cetera. The Mandela effect. Mike Morrell told the House Judiciary Committee that he, Mike Morrell, was asked by Anthony Blinken, who is now the Secretary of State, who at the time, in 2020, was a senior member of the Biden campaign of 2020. Anthony Blinken, who was the Secretary of State, had also lied to the FBI. The question is, who's Ray Epps or Fed Epps? Title 42? That now all of these migrants coming over, did you see Senator Ted Cruz expose this woman from the FBI? Look at it on YouTube. Senator Cruz from the great state of Texas had exposed this woman from the FBI he was asking her, this is during the January 6th, okay, uh, Senate Oversight Committee concerning the January, January 6th so-called um, siege. <laughs> Senator Ted Cruz asked this woman from the FBI on a video, was the FBI and the, were the FBI agents involved in the January 6th catastrophe, she said she could not answer that. You can also not just look on YouTube, but go on Facebook and, and my brother, a great, a great American patriot, they, um, Dan Bongino, exposed this woman. Ted Cruz asked this woman from the FBI, were there FBI agents involved in the January 6th siege of the Capitol? She said she could not answer that. Senator Cruz also said, were there FBI informants among the so-called conservative groups? She said she could not answer that. Senator Cruz asked her, were there FBI informants that were inciting riots at the Capitol, she said she could not answer that because the FBI is involved. And Senator Cruz asked her, who's Ray Epps? You know what she said? This is a woman from the FBI, receipts. She says, I know of Ray Epps, but I cannot answer that question because of national security. I'll 
tell you who Ray at. Ray at was an informant for the FBI. Okay? That's why Fox Kowtow did the deep state fired Tucker Carlson because Tucker Carlson was exposing Ray Epps. Ray Epps said on a video, let's siege the Capitol. Let's go into the Capitol. Ray Epps said that. Why isn't Ray Epps interviewed by the FBI? And why isn't Ray Epps sent to prison? The Mandela effect, you're being lied to. Three million dollars of money coming from your uh, Romanian oligarchs sent to the Biden family. Sent to Joe, the old man, a hunter, crackhead, Holly Biden, and James Biden, the brother of Joe, and the rest of the family. Why is the Democratic Party covering this up? The Bidens also pocket, this is according to a great patriot by the name of Congressman James Comer from the great state of Kentucky, that the Bidens pocketed $1 million from a corrupt Romanian oligarch when Joe Biden was vice president. The Biden family, President Biden, Hunter, and eight other members of the Biden crime family received $3 million from this Romanian oligarch by the name of Gabriel Popovicio, P-O-P-P-O-P-O-V-I-C-I-U, Gabriel, Gabriel Popovicio. Not only gave the Biden family $3 million, but he is the financial political supporter of President Zelensky. I got to go. This is corruption. Thank you, everyone, for joining the bishop tonight. Uh, listen, I want you to spread these teachings. Marjorie 1, Volume 1 of Jamie Foxx. A Luciferian project completed. The Bidens need to go to prison, man. I thought the Clintons and the Clinton Nisas was the most corrupt political family. The Bidens, pound for pound, of the most corrupt political family in the annals of American political history. Thank you guys for... Joining the bishop tonight for joining Bishop John Wick. Right now, all of the moderators, please don't leave us live listeners. All of the moderators put up paypal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. Paypal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. And getting back to this woman, E. Jean Carroll. Lying on President Trump, and he raped me. Okay, why didn't you come up with this last? She was lying. Who put her up to that? <laughs> Reed Hoffman, the creator of Lincoln, whose name is on the flight manifest of Jeffrey Epstein's jet, the Lolita Express. Reed Hoffman is nothing but a pedophile. I said it. Y'all need to stop being scared and call those things which be not as though they were. All of the moderators, please put up the PayPal link. Woo! Listen, I got, I got a major announcement coming up here. Don't leave us live listeners. Don't leave us. Don't leave us. All of the beautiful patriots. I don't care what color you are. Black, white, brown, yellow. I don't care. I love you, all of the patriots. Listen, PayPal.me for slash GSRR Media Group, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. It's, there it goes, follow my finger, right, right there, it's right under Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group in black letters with a yellow or gold background, okay? Right now, click on that, okay? Or right beside Pastor Simon's name, okay? 
uh, all of the moderators right beside True Witness Ministries names, uh, their name, click on the PayPal link. You don't need a PayPal account right beside Pastor Liz, uh, Lizette LeBron's name. Right beside their name, click on the PayPal link. Take this, I like to call it mice or rat or mouse. Take this or your finger, whether you have a desktop, laptop, Chrome tablet, Apple tablet, um, Apple Watch, iPhone, Android, and just this is John Wick moment. Click on PayPal.me for slash GSR Media Group. PayPal.me for slash GSR Media Group. And after you click on the PayPal link, after you click on the PayPal link, then click send. Don't click request, click send. Click send. Okay? Click send and plant. The Lord's tithe. That's non-negotiable. Plant the Lord's tithe. Your best tithe, which is the Lord's tithe. If your gross on your check is three thousand, the Lord's tithe is three hundred. If your gross is two thousand, the Lord's tithe is two hundred. If your gross is a thousand on your check before Uncle Sam takes his out, uh, the Lord's tithe is one hundred. Do that right now. I don't want you to be cursed, as the prophet Malachi said. How will, how, will, how will a man rob God <laughs> in tithes and offerings? That's but that I didn't write that. That's in the book of the, uh, Malachi, the prophet. You are the best spiritual teacher I've ever heard, heard uh, ever had in my life. Thank you, Pastor Rick. Woo, to God be all the glory. Thank you, sir. Um, my favorite aspect of ministry is being a servant of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, Yeshua the Christ. Please click. You should be like popcorn, like Pastor Colleen says. Take this or your finger and click on paypal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. Paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. When you give unto the Lord, he'll give you more to give. Good measure, press down, shaking together, run them, run them, and good, good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over it. Shall men give unto your bosom? God says he'll give you double for your trouble, triple for your pain. Plant the Lord's tithe. And also besides you planting the Lord's tithe, it's not your paycheck, it's God's, right? The earth is the Lord's, okay? In the fullness thereof. So then um, plant the Lord's tithe. And after you plant the Lord's tithe, beside you plant it. We don't use the word sow here. Don't leave us live, listeners. I got a major announcement. Um, listen, we don't use the word so here because the word so was put in by the Vatican at the 325 Alien Conference in Nicene, Turkey. The term so is the name of a female hog, is a female pig or hog. So we don't use the word so. We use the word plant. After you plant the Lord's tithe by clicking on paypal.me forward slash GSR Mini Group, and then after you click on paypal.me forward slash GSR Media Group, then click send. Don't click request. Click send. Plant the Lord's side. And then go back in again and go through the same process. Click on the PayPal link right there in the chat room. And after you click on the PayPal link, then click send and plant $50 or more. Okay. You should be like popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. $50, 60, 80, 100, 200, 500 dollars. Three of you give a thousand. What we've been going through, um, going on three years now, has not affected, infected your finances. Some of you are millionaires or close to it. Um, praise God, you were designed to be a multimillionaire. Thank God we got students all over the world now. We have a little over 280 million. A little over 280 million online registered registered student pastors on our official website, which is www.globalspiritualmovement.org, globalspiritualmovement.org. After you click on the PayPal link, then click send, not only plant the Lord's time, but also plant $50, $80. You should be that popcorn, $100, $200, $500. Three of you give a thousand. I thank God we got students, not just here in Hollywood and television writers. They're on strike right now. Pray for them. We got students 
who work on Broadway. Some of them are low-level actors. When I say low-level, they're not less than, but they're not known, but they're known to God. A lot of them are writers, you know, writers of the stage, and they're lighting people, right? And I'm God willing. Um, the bishop will be going to the Tony Awards, God willing, okay? And so I'll be going back to New York City on Saturday, okay, for about a week, and I'll be back to L.A., for the rest of the summer. So um, after you click on the PayPal link, then click send and send your very best amount. Don't give God scraps like Cain did. And another thing also, we have a cash app. Um, the pastors, can you put up uh, our cash app? And I will definitely put it up myself, all of the moderators. Our cash app Ladies and gentlemen, is the dollar sign then global revolution then the number one? There it goes. It's under Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group in black letters with the yellow gold background. Also, uh, it's right under Pastor Colleen's name. Go to your cash app right now and type in the link dollar sign, okay, then global revolution one, dollar sign, then global revolution one. Um, the words global revolution are in all upper cap letters, okay? Dollar sign global revolution one, okay? Uh, and plant $100, $200. I thank God for Pastor Chris Harris, one of our powerful student pastors. Pastor Harris, I love you, sir, all the way from here in California, Long Beach, California. Thank you for your faithful giving, Pastor Chris Harris. I thank God for every one of you, Okay. Thank God for all of you. And I thank God uh, we got students in the NFL, brothers in the NFL. We got three students from the NHL whose children love the bishop's teaching. These people don't know me, but they came to know me through their children. Okay. Um, we have a student, um, a sister from the LGPA, the, the ladies pro golf. Is it the LGPA, the ladies? She's a professional golfer. She's a student. She's from Georgia. And uh, she's a student of our global master classes. Thank you so much. Yes, and thank you, um, Pastor Colin. Pastor Ewing, when you type in the Cash App link, um, the words, the letters, Global Revolution is an all upper cap capitalized letters, okay? Dollar sign, then global revolution, then the number one, okay? Um, the rest of you go to paypal.me for slash GSRR media group, paypal.me for slash GSRR media group. When you give it to the Lord, he'll give you more to give. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. God says he's going to give you double for your trouble, triple for your pain. Also, last but never least, you can send your checks or your money orders in care of Bishop Larry Gators. And praise God, our P.O. box is 161 Lomita, California, and zip code is 90717, okay? Uh, in care of Bishop Larry Gators, P.O. box 161 Lomita, California, 90717. You can also send your tithes and, and your free will offerings through that way. Now, when you're sending your um, money orders, please only use, listen to me, only use post office money orders. Don't go to Western Union and don't go to whether it's Torres or, Torres or Us. I don't know. I think they're still in existence out here. Don't go to Walmart. Just Use go to your post office and get a money order from your from your post office. Okay, God bless you. The rest of you go to PayPal.me for slash GSR Media Group. PayPal.me for slash GSR Media Group. I want to also announce that the uh, third Monday uh, in July, um, praise God, the third Monday. Uh, in July, we're going to have a, a special guest on our radio show. Um, we're going to have the third Monday in July, the former 
uh, prime minister of the great nation of Finland, Prime Minister Santa Marine. Santa Marine. Uh, now, it's a miracle because one of her former cabinet ministers is a friend of mine who is in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, who is a pastor uh, in Helsinki, Finland, okay, but also a former cabinet member of Prime Minister Santa Marine. She got herself in some, into some trouble because uh, she went to this party and um, she, anyway, she went to this party and was exposed. So um, my pastor friend of mine, uh, unnamed, I'm not going to tell the world his name because it's no one's business. He said she needs prayer, Bishop. She lost her reelection bid uh, to be, uh, to continue to be prime minister of the nation of Finland. Okay. Uh, I don't judge, I'm, I, listen, but I we're going to have the former Prime Minister of Finland the third Monday of um, July, and also um, the Mondays in July, we're going to have other Prime Ministers from other countries as well. So this is a global movement, not just a, of the Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, New York, Los Angeles, but also uh, our nationally syndicated radio talk show on the WMCA AM 570 FM 102.3 network through the iHeart Media Group in New York, City, New York City, New York. We average a little over 25 million listeners around the world each week. Uh, and we have been told that we are the number one listened to radio talk show on the iHeart Media Group. And I thank God for that. Thank you guys for being with the Bishop. Okay. Um, also, um, we're in the process of creating prayer teams, uh, praise God. And I'm going to be talking to uh, Pastor Jody Bird tomorrow about creating a prayer team in the state of North Carolina that will cover the bishop every week in prayer, okay? And those of you who want to be on the nationwide, the worldwide uh, Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group prayer teams, uh, definitely you can text us, okay, your name and number at 917-736-5946, 917-736-5946. You can do that. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being with the bishop tonight. And I'm telling you, I, I just, whoo, I was on fire tonight. And I had a couple of days rest, but at the same time, I was busy as well. Thank you, everyone, for being with the bishop tonight. Receipts were delivered to you tonight. Also, if you need counseling, text us your name and number. We're going to have the pastors to counsel you. See, I, I don't even have time to do that now. My schedule is so, so busy, okay? Um, technically... My staff in New York has me booked two years in advance, okay, um, until July of 2025, being a guest on radio shows and podcasts, and, and they're already working on January 2026, so your bishop is in great demand. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, also, all of the patriots, listen, President Trump is coming back. I said it. Matter of fact, he's never left. And do you know President Trump still has access to Air Force One? The Air Force One that Lazy Joe rides, that had to be built. Okay? Why? Because Joe Biden is a illegitimate president. He's a fraud. And I thank God for the true president that we have, President Donald J. Trump. He's not perfect, but God has anointed him for such a time as this. Thank you for joining the bishop tonight. And God willing, I'm going to President Trump's inauguration, okay? Brandon Ryzen of fake Air Force One. That's right. What's, what's his name? Pastor Colleen broke back. Broke back, 
broke back but broken Brandon. Thank you, everyone, for joining the bishop tonight. Was your minds blown tonight? Was your minds blown? Look at the term Nigeria. Write it from right to left rabbinically. You get a Hasidic Hebrew word, origin, which means before time began. Nigeria backwards, right to left, reveals the Hasidic Hebrew word, origin, which means before time began. And one of my spiritual sons in Christ, I'm not going to say his name, well-known pastor, um, you know, in Europe, who is now in uh, uh, Brussels, Belgium, is running for the presidency of the nation of Nigeria during, of, in the next few years. He will be the president of Nigeria. He's one of my spiritual sons. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being with the bishop tonight. I love you. I'm in love with you. Don't think it's strange when I say I'm in love with you. It means I love you as Christ loves you. Let's pray for Tucker Carson. Praise God. He's coming back. Listen, and it would be my counsel to Tucker uh, I would not go to the blaze. The blaze is fine. Nothing wrong with the blaze. Uh, nothing wrong with the blaze. But you want something of your own, Tucker. Okay? Where you're the boss. Okay? And you're led by the boss, the Spirit of Christ. Thank you. PayPal.me forward slash GS or Medical. After you click on the PayPal link, then click send and plant $1,000, $500. Okay? Thank you so very much. This is the greatest global spiritual movement since the day of Pentecost. Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, New York, Los Angeles. Good night. Woo! We love you, Pastor Simon and Pastor Sylvia. You guys get some rest. God bless you. I will see you guys on Thursday. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. I'll see you on Thursday. God bless you. In Christ's holy name, I love you. I'll see you soon. See you Thursday. Good night from Los Angeles. Good night.